This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves, and bags. Also, t shirts like hip hop, nature, rock bands, reggae, and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. Now, let's check out this episode. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really, really, really special guest in the building. Listen, you've seen him on some of the biggest sound clashes from in the early 90s. He's toured the world with his sister and all this stuff. He has his production. You know what we have in the building today? We have Pancho, formerly a 4x4 Exodus in the building today. What's, what's going on, big what's boss? What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm in the building tonight, man. Bless of yourself. Thank happy you so much. Here, you know? Thank you so much for coming just, through today. It's a privilege. Trust yeah. me. I'm happy to be here. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Happy to be able to share the story. All you right. Know? And I'll tell you the truth since we're starting to talk. It's the people from YouTube that brought you here. I always yeah. wanted to talk to you, but we've had so much conversations on YouTube. People said, where's Pancho? Where's Pancho? Because we know we could pass the other day, but yes. people said, where's All Pancho? Right, where's there. Pancho? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I spoke to Lady G the other day, and she mentioned the name, but I did not realize it was you until, again, <laughs> somebody in the comments said, yo, Pancho. So I said, have to find him, and here he is today. Thank you. Glad to be here. You know what I mean? So what's up? What's All going right. on? All right. What the world want to know? All right. On this program here, we like to go from beginning and then bring it right up to 2021. So my first question for you is this. Where did you grow up in Jamaica, and what type of child were you? All right. I was born and raised in the early beginning in Tamsupin, Spanish town, Jamaica. Lived there until I was about nine years old. Mm-hmm. Went to De La Vega City. De La Vega City became my everything, my home, my community. That's mm-hmm. where I had most of my friends, most of my street knowledge mm-hmm. growing up was right there in De La Vega City. As to being a kid, the type of kid, mm-hmm. Highly energetic, okay. love music, always love being around the entertainers because I was always surrounded by entertainers, Papa San, mm-hmm. Dirts, man, G, always surrounded by entertainers. So mm-hmm. that, was, that was the best part of my life growing up as a youth, you know? Mm-hmm. How come you never, or I ask you, did you even try to DJ before you actually got into sound <laughs> business? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a shameful story, but I got to share it, right? Yeah. Okay. Try to DJ. Try to DJ before. Like add the lyrics and everything. Cause I was I was one that was listening to G and Papa San and Dursman when they were writing and I was always doing mm-hmm. my little writing on the side, you know? Yeah. Started DJing and went on a stage show, a stage show called Della Splash. Mm. Never forget that night. Mm-hmm. They called me up on stage. At that time, I wasn't Pancho. I was Governor Ashley. Okay. Lord. And a friend of mine that's an MC named Frutal called me up on stage. And on stage, we bring up Governor Ashley. Run up on stage. Of the art from my head, everything feel like a big superstar now. Mm-hmm. Start DJ and the crowd go quiet. And I said, hold on. Mm-hmm. No. Step up my lyrics now. I start pushing for Isaac come more. Pushing for Isaac come more now. And like a crowd just decides, hey, you know, we're up on a shh for you right now. <laughs> and then one girl, one girl in that crowd said, come on, Feisty. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother, I turn, me turn the cap back way, mm-hmm. side way. <laughs> me mean, in about 10 seconds time, the ad turned seven different yeah. directions. <laughs> I see after I after come off of the stage, because Frutal come save me, you know? Mm-hmm. Frutal come save me, walk up and say, I say, yeah, man, let's move on to the next yeah. artist. But I'm sinking I go and yeah. walk off of the stage, I'll be like, yeah. yo, you know what? I don't think this yeah. is my word. <laughs> but it was good. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it while it lasts yeah. at that time. But I did return to the stage, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. So, I, even the name Governor Ashley, how did that come up in the first place? Okay, like in my community in De La Vega City, mm-hmm. like names doesn't even need an origin. Somebody that see you and you just remind them of something. Yeah. And uh, at one point they tried to call me Major Tribe. 
Kameja Makrel. <laughs> so that was yeah. all. In, in De La Vega City, you just get a name. Like, I'll walk past you and just call you Knucklehead, and all of a sudden, Knucklehead is your that's name. That's your name. That's your name. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's how we grew up. That's how I said. Della was just, it was just a community. The friendship, like, everybody was just, like, close. So mm -hmm. it's like, it wasn't an issue. You just get a name. You work with a name. If you don't want it stick, don't get mm -hmm. upset. Work with it. I always get upset. So the governor ashes stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Listen, the more you fight against it, is the more they're gonna yes, put it on you. That's a habit. Yeah. You understand. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, so at then at this time when you were doing the governor Ashley, was Lady G a big established artist at this time already? Yes. Mm -hmm. She was already like known. Mm -hmm. Known the songs with Papa Son and Lady G mm -hmm. was out there and you know, mm -hmm. everybody loving it and stuff. So everybody knew I had a sister that's a DJ, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was it. But they weren't giving me that props. I, I wasn't getting anything <laughs> off yeah. the Lady G name. <laughs> I had to work for all of that. Time. I was like, uh, not coming. <laughs> it wasn't coming your way. No. <laughs> okay, so then when did you turn your attention to sound business now? How did that come in? Okay, I've always loved sound system. I, I can remember going into Prison Oval um, one day to watch a clash. Mm -hmm. It was a clash between Creation and Marathon. Mm -hmm. And like all my friends, because we had a crew and like everybody went in and they were out in the crowd doing their thing. And I was just standing right beside Marathon Sound System, watching the selector like for the whole time. And I, I found it like at that time, it was just mesmerizing to me. I was like, you know, mm -hmm. it seems like he's just in control of everything. And I'm looking at the crowd and their reaction when they play a song and they're like, yo. Like, it's just powerful to me, and I started loving it from then, mm -hmm. and my love for music just expand from that time, you know, into artists, writing songs, everything. So I just fell in love with music, and that just became my path. Your path, yeah. So what was the first sound you actually got to and started to play? Okay. Um, Amplex. Amplex is mm -hmm. the first sound system. Yeah. Why Amplex? We built Amplex. Mm -hmm. um, it was a crew of us, Glamour G, myself, Triton, Buckles, Marky Mark, Savage, Percy, mm -hmm. Eddie. I can name, I can name. Forgive me for all who mm -hmm. don't hear them there, but trust me. Remember when you like, you know? Mm -hmm. It's yesterday thing, you see me? So... We decided, you know, we always on the corner, we always hang out, you know. It's always a group of us. We always go barbecues, go places together. And it's like, we're there and I think between Glamour G, myself and Triton, like, we just decide that we want to play some music, we want to have music on the corner. Mm -hmm. And we decide we're going to build a sound system. And then that was it. We start out, we build a couple little box. Actually, the first speaker... The first speaker for the sound mm -hmm. come from my grand uncle stereo okay. that he had in the house. I think mm -hmm. is either 10 or a 12 inch. Trust me, I don't think him realized I'm yeah. screw it out. <laughs> 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 and the first ta yeah. turntable, mm -hmm. twenty dollar. We paid twenty dollar for the turntable. I gave them twenty dollar mm -hmm. because everybody had to chip in. You had to chip in when you can buy records, when you can buy a piece of equipment, stuff like that. And we had like a serious group of you that anything we decided that we wanted, we were going to get it. So if when we said we wanted a sound system, oh God, it took us just a couple months. Okay. And we had boxes built, everything, um, equipment, stuff like that. Our first selector was Eddie. Can't forget Eddie. Eddie teach, teach all of us how to mix because Eddie could mix with cassettes. With cassettes? With cassettes. Yeah. And he would mix clean. Yeah. <laughs> and he taught all of us how to mix and that's how we get into it. Glamour G was, we call it now, the main selector. Mm -hmm. Main selector. And uh, the sound would stay at his mom's house and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. he would have access to everything and do his thing. But yeah. That's how I started out and started out actually with Glamour G because Glamour G was, we used to, Glamour G and I was close. Mm -hmm. So 
whenever it's around the sound, I will go around the sound, pack, pack the records, make sure everything is neat, make sure everything is neat and tidy. And whenever it's playing, I would and him the song, you know, he'll call for a song, I'll take off what's on the turntable and put on the other one and make sure, you know, so the party keep going and stuff like that. So, you know, that's how it started out. And I started playing early juggling till start to improve, you know, start and say, from. yeah, you can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> what year would you say Amplex Arm was built? Amplex was built early, early. That's 90, 91, 92 okay. type of thing. That was, that was early, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, see you so early. Because we were kids, like, we were kids on the corner. Like, mm -hmm. most of us were still in school. High school when we mm -hmm. built Amplex. We were still in high school. Mm -hmm. Probably even before 9 to 1, because we were still in high school. We were using our lunch money to go buy albums. Our lunch money was buying, mm -hmm. but our crew was so big like, that we had heavy record because we could always call on somebody to go buy two albums or two mm -hmm. records from the shop, you know? So, yeah. It fix up from there. And when did Lenny get involved with Amplex? Lenny's story was a tricky one because mm -hmm. Lenny used to play a sound system that was on the back road of Della, mm -hmm. the back road of the scheme. And we played that sound system one night in our competition and mm -hmm. uh, we beat them. Okay. We beat them like, we beat them badly. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> they were new sounds still starting mm -hmm. up, so they didn't have like the artillery that we had because from early days we had Dirtsman. Dirtsman was right there with us. Okay. Dur Dursman was like our right hand, so he was he was telling people about the sound. We had Cabra, we had Cabra, we even had Bonticilla from Bonticilla starts in Kapashat, yeah. the new gun. We had Bonticilla. We have all of these artists, yeah. you understand, in our corner from day one. Mm -hmm. So after we beat the sound now, that's when the sound from back road, I think the guy, the men up, the sound ended up mash up and mm -hmm. Lenny came around and then we and Lenny end up become friends and from there, you know, we love him vibes, we love him energy because him bring, him bring good vibes, him always attack and him always say some funny things, so, mm -hmm. you know, we love him vibes and him stick around and then him and Glamour G end up with this connection and that's how it goes and, yeah. From right there. Okay, so then now, okay, so then you guys met Lenny in that class year. What were two other good nights of Amplex when you guys were just coming up? Good nights? Yeah. Either juggling or if you guys even got into a clash. Because I know at this time, Amplex, I think City Rock was around at this time too. Yes. And Impression might have been around at the same time also. Yeah. Impression was around. Um, we were more of the party zone. Mm -hmm. Jamrock, um, our dates with most of the sound at the early stage, before we left, because remember, it's Glamour G, Lenny, myself, mm -hmm. there at that time, mm -hmm. then we end up left. Mm -hmm. You understand? So before we left, it was mostly about a lot of parties. Okay. When we play sound like Jamrock and um, City Rock, City Rock, it was, we knew City Rock was like a, early finish, one o'clock type of juggling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they would just race and race and race. So mm -hmm. we were always prepared. So we, when we play them, we always have like good dance. We always have good nights because we knew how they juggle and we know how to set the pace and yeah. do what we need to do. Plus, we had a crew. We had a crew. So if we need to start a party, we know how to start it. We make one call and be like, mm -hmm. time to start the party now. And we have a group of people just in the middle of the dance floor start dance yeah. and, you know, do a lot of things to kind of lively up the venue. So people love our energy, you understand? So we were getting good dance. Um, most of our big dance with Amplex still, mm -hmm. that came when we left mm -hmm. and come back. And when we team up for the mm -hmm. second time now, mm -hmm. that's when the big, big dances came along, you know? Um, okay, so then let's... Follow down this journey here now. You said you, Lenny, and Glamaji left. All right. Yeah. How long were you guys on Amplex before you guys left the first time? Mm, um, it was about probably about a year, a year and a half. We were together, like mm -hmm. just together. You understand? Amplex was always there. Glamaji and myself was always a part of it. Lenny came along and was a part of that. 
Um, Lenny went to Jamrock. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Lenny went to Jamrock. Um, Grandma G. Bass of this. Mm-hmm. 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 I had to go with Glamour G to bass of this. Okay. Because Glamour G needed the strength. Mm-hmm. So I got hired because Glamour G needed that strength. So when, same thing that I was doing on Amplex, kind of just being there. And Glamour G never really loved to talk that much. Mm-hmm. And I have a wicked voice, but don't really love to talk. So I would be there telling him, what to say, you know? Say, okay, say this and mm-hmm. this track and when the clashes are going on the bass of this and him alone I play the sound, I'll be there to help him out and give him record and then mm-hmm. tell him the stuff where, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's the Glamour G story right there, you know? And how, then How did I you let... guys even get to Bass Odyssey of all sounds? Because remember, you guys are in Spanish town and Bass Odyssey is way in St. Anne's. Okay, so Bass Odyssey had three owners at the time. Mm-hmm. Bonnie... Wally Winston. Mm-hmm. Father Winston come from Tamsapen. Mm-hmm. Father Winston owned a bar in Tamsapen. So Father Winston used to come to Della all the time and he has jukebox and stuff like that in the bars in Della. So we used to play at a spot named Breadfruit Tree Lawn. Mm-hmm. So Father Winston, every time he come there and he hears us play, you know, always impressed by our juggling and we became friends. Even with the rest of his family, his son, everybody. Okay. We became friends. So when BSLS needed a selector, he recommended Glamour G. Because as I say, Glamour G was the head selector mm-hmm. at Amplex. Mm-hmm. He was a man, you know? So he recommended Glamour G. And that's how Glamour G get in contact with them and Glamour G end up at BSLS. Okay. And then when you guys got to Base Odyssey, who was on Base Odyssey at that time there? Tina One. Tina One was a man. Because mm-hmm. all we know about bass are they say, like, bass are they say, the sound. We went to, um, listen, bass are they say, play a sound from Spanish show named Dan Rubin. Okay. At the time, Dan Rubin was like, that sound. The machine. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes to Clash and stuff, Dan Rubin was the sound. And mm-hmm. Tina One met Dan Rubin look like they weren't even there. What? I remember the night mm-hmm. clearly. I remember we're standing because it was on top of a building. Mm-hmm. Top of a building. And I remember when BSODC pulled out the Dennis Brown, Barry Salmon, and Freddie McGregor. Boss, the fire was so big, I was worried that the building <laughs> itself was going to collapse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because trust me, like when you hear the, the step aside now, Oh, God, man. Everything mm-hmm. and the forward was so big. That's how we know about BSLC and mm-hmm. from then, you know. We had bass that ratings to BSLC and be like, yeah, mm-hmm. the country sound are bad. Them full of tune. Yeah. <laughs> the bad one rock. Yeah, the one rock machine. Mm-hmm. So, and I'm being honest with you. Basically, because these, these are just things where, from my memory, these are moments that impacted my mind. For sure. Leave an impact on my mind. I can't forget these things because it's just natural. It's going to stay there forever. Yeah. And that's how we Tina One. And Tina One vice big and him just so like, yeah. Tina, Tina One was the big man around Bass Hardesty. So then you guys got to Bass Hardesty. There was nobody else playing the song at that time there? No, not at that time. Okay, so then it was, so then Tina One, you guys went, so then now it's you? Tina One and Glamour G. Yeah. All right. So, but Glamour G is a selector. I'm mm-hmm. not there really. I'm there more as an early juggling selector. Got you. And there, I'm there because Glamour G was there. Mm-hmm. And that's the real truth. Mm-hmm. You understand? I was there because Glamour G was there. Mm-hmm. You understand? I was there to help him out and stuff. Because I used to write speech and I'll interview my grandmother. Yeah. Interview my grandmother and my granduncle. And write out some speech, uh, Glamour G, because mm-hmm. you know, plant no one, they yeah. didn't shoot. <laughs> yes. Them old time speech, uh, one time people used to use in a clash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to have to sit and write them out for Glamour G and say, yeah, yeah man, them That's speech, uh, man, them thing, uh, man, you can use them thing, uh, man. That's how it was. You know? So I was the early juggling selector. Glamour G, mm-hmm. Tina One, two big man. So wh- when you were there, did Squinchy come to the song at this time yet, or he came after you left? He was, yeah, he came. He came during the time when I was there. Because they needed, they needed another. They needed another, you know, mm-hmm. selector that had 
experience being a lead selector and I think he was playing he was playing a sound in Steer Town. Okay. That was that sound was the thing. Like there was a sound in Steer Town, like mm-hmm. so everybody was talking about them. So when he came to the sound, like I don't know all the connections mm-hmm. to get him there. But trust me, when he came to the sound it was a whole different energy. Yeah. It was a different energy. He came with the drum machine, playing the drum machine crazy okay. and doing a bunch of things. And I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. him full of energy. Him full of energy. You know, he had that life about him. Squingy, mm-hmm. and he was always this playful character. Mm-hmm. Once they're on Squingy, he's going to do something just to try to make <laughs> you laugh because that's just him, <laughs> you know? So when he came and mm-hmm. the whole energy it was nice. It was a good vibe. Okay, so you guys are there now. What were some of the early dances or even clashes you remember playing on Bass Odyssey at that time there? On Bass Odyssey, okay. Um, Biggest clash Mm -hmm. on Bass Odyssey, our biggest dance. Yeah. The biggest thing that stands out in my mind, I think it's the first time, I think we were in St. Mary. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, I think we were in St. Mary. And that's the first time we roll out the the twelve hundred eighteen inch them the bass line. We, yeah. we just changed the bass line. And I remember like we have like like we reach in and the sound string up and Bonnie do him thing and everything set up and mm-hmm. you know, turn on the sound and you hear the bass crack and it's like the people them from the community. It's like them hear the bass line alone. And all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you're looking at the venue, we are talking about in mm-hmm. the day. And <laughs> full of people just admire yeah. sound and just a listen. Mm-hmm. And just a listen. That was that was like that was like one of the the sweetest me ever hear a sound play and a bass line. I think that was the time I looked at it and said, mm-hmm. This is bass on the scene. Mm-hmm. This is the bass <laughs> on the scene. That you were looking for. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the base of this. But um, as to big clashes that we play, um, Black Cat. Okay. Black Cat. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I think, I can remember one night, it was actually just Glamour G, Glamour G um, versus Pink Panther. Hmm. <sighs> that was mad. Yeah. The, the clash started from 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I swear. From 11 o'clock in the night, it was clash. Mm-hmm. And 6 o'clock in the morning, the clash was still going on. <laughs> yeah. And we were playing dubs, like right, two and two and two. It's just dub play. Mm-hmm. That was mad. And how yeah. did that night end up? Who who took that night there? That was Glamour G night. Yeah. That was definitely Glamour G night. Pink Panther was saying all the things that he was supposed to say. Mm-hmm. But... The people was just having a love for me, so they say at that time we are. It's not about you doing anything extra. Mm-hmm. It's about just you just making sure you don't slip up. Just keep the juggling tight. Keep the song them. Keep the speech them short. Eat them where you have to eat them. Mm-hmm. You don't have to follow Pink Panther with them argument. And that was one of the things where we end up had discussion mm-hmm. about. Now nah, follow Pink Panther and them argument. Beat him with tune. Yeah. Keep telling him Black Cat have, no, have no tune. Mm-hmm. Black Cat can't manage bass and they say with tune. And, and that was the thing. And Glamour G, mm-hmm. get him the night there. You understand? But Big, big, big there. Yeah. Because you said, okay, that was a Black Cat night. But now that Squingy came in, I remember they started to refer to Glamour G and Squingy as basically twins. Twins. You understand? So I guess now that at this point here, they started to get a good vibe together. Yes. Because mm-hmm. they... Listen, because as I say, Glamour G doesn't love to talk. Mm-hmm. But that's not Squingy's problem. Yeah. Squingy is not the bravest individual in her. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But when it get going, that's a different thing. You understand? Squingy not brave, brave, brave. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, you just have a way of saying the simplest things and they sound so effective. Mm-hmm. He's not saying anything out of the ordinary, nothing that you've never heard before. Mm-hmm. But when him start talk and him start saying the simple things, it's like it just connect to you. And people just connected to Squingy because mm-hmm. he had that people personality. People go around him, you just love being around him. From you're around him for a minute, mm-hmm. yeah, Squingy. 
you were good. Yeah. And when you were on Base Odyssey, did Lenny come to Base Odyssey at this time here? No. Okay. No. He was still he was still actually on Jamrock. Mm-hmm. I think we actually played Jamrock one night with Lenny and his yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think that happened at Paris Skate like in Spanish Town. I think we actually beat Jamrock yeah. one night with <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> and Lenny. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Paris Skate Land. Yeah. Crazy. What is Skate Land? Skate Land, Spanish Town, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lenny was on Jamrock, mm-hmm. but mm, it's based on this. Mm-hmm. Jamrock. Yeah. Jamrock was more known for the juggling. The juggling, yeah. Less for the clash thing. Mm-hmm. Based on this, it was. About the clash. Mm-hmm. You understand? That was the thing. About the clash. And how long did you do on Base Odyssey? To be honest, I can't remember. I don't think I did two years. Okay, so it was just like a, a pass-through. Just it to was make more sure of a pass-through. Glamour G got what he needed. Yeah. Squingy came around, so I guess so your Squingy job was came, done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, not even say done, because then I could focus more now on playing music. For sure. That's the time when I actually improve the most mm-hmm. because now I don't have to be there for glamour so much. So when I'm playing my early juggling, I'm practicing my mixing, I'm studying the songs. And then when I finish playing the early juggling and they are connecting and doing their thing, now I'm studying the party, I'm studying the people, I'm studying how they go about setting up the juggling for the rounds and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And that's where the learning came into place. You understand? But had to leave. Mm-hmm. That was a tough call, but mm-hmm. I had to leave. Why did you have to leave at that time there? I couldn't get pay like Glamour G and Squingy. Mm-hmm. I had a youth on the way, my first son. Mm-hmm. You understand? And phew, that's getting sticky. Mm-hmm. Baby mother needs stuff. She's telling me that what I'm doing is not good. Stuff like that, you understand? Mm-hmm. So I had to think as to what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. What am I going to do? I talked to Wally. We had a conversation. There wasn't any good news there. It mm-hmm. wasn't sounding like I was getting any more money. And uh, it doesn't sound like I was getting that opportunity. Okay. The mistake you can make as a person, it's good to start out as a apprentice. Mm-hmm. But do remember... If you start as apprentice, not everyone is going to see you as a pro. Because how they see you from beginning mm-hmm. is that first impression. Your apprentice. Mm-hmm. So to get the opportunity to go up at Basilisi, in their mind, I'm going to have to take some more time. And to be honest, maybe I wasn't learning fast enough for them. You understand? I remember, there was no teacher there. We were all there to do a job, mm-hmm. and we all had to do our job to the best of our ability. You understand? Mm-hmm. And I'm young, like I'm 17, mm-hmm. 17 years old, 17, okay. 18 years old. So I'm young. You understand? So I wanted to move on. Tried a sounding sentence for a minute, mm-hmm. but didn't work out because they were just too... They was just too, they were too small. But that's how I knew, I knew then that I had the ability to do bigger things. Got you. Because it was a sound called Tidal Wave. Mm. And uh, they were located, like, before you go up to Alexandria, they were at the, like, the top of the road. Mm-hmm. So I started playing that sound. And I remember we played Metro Media mm. one night yeah. in the skate land. At centers and like Sky Juice, they have him shirt and one world, I think. And for some reason, like the owner said to me, say, I forgot to kill Metro Media, you know. <laughs> we had just said to me, Lord God, I've been dying to get this yeah. chance. <laughs> <laughs> Long time I want to hear that word. Eh? Yeah. When we start, start, we start say some things about Sky Juice and stripping in a party and then a go-go club. And we start say all of the things them that I would tell everybody else to tell other selector, yeah. now they're coming out of my mouth. And the people them start go crazy. Okay. And me say, yeah. Me at the bar, so till, so till me I set tune upon the turntable. 
press start and go out front I stage and go out with a bag of things uh, from this to now like the people they say I love my energy mm -hmm. but them not realize one thing I now figure out that Pancho can do this got you I learn now that I can do this mm -hmm. Because if I can stand on the same stage as the great Sky Juice, be brave enough to go at him mm -hmm. that way and hear the people them react so crazily, he's like, yeah, we can do this. So you know what? Maybe I can take up a bigger challenge. Yeah. You understand? So like from there I start looking, looking for a bigger challenge and here comes... Black cat. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you guys just clashed not too long ago yeah. on Base Odyssey. Yes. You know what I mean? So <laughs> even though the funny thing with it is you're leaving a song like Base Odyssey that has a bag of songs. Yeah. Now you get into Black Cat that doesn't really have the songs, but they have the bad MC. Yes. You know what I mean? So how do you figure that you could fit in to this situation right here? To be honest, I wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the truth. I wasn't thinking. It's yeah. Black Cat. It's mm -hmm. a big, it's an opportunity. Yeah. Pink Panther was going away for about a month. Mm -hmm. He had some overseas dance that he had to do. Um, Stevie, my friend, you understand, from ever since, like mm -hmm. from, I knew him, we've been friends. We're talking Stevie, the one arm selector. The one arm selector. Mm -hmm. Yes. And... Uh, he sent me a message, he, he got my number and him linked me and him say, yo, Pink Panther go with you a month in a Panther mm -hmm. leave you a month in and want a selector, you know. Mm -hmm. And I talk to the boss, you know. And the boss say, yo, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you have you for the sound and something. And I say, yeah, that sound good. And I say, yeah, man. Meet me at Galchester, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you were still in Spanish town at this time, uh, right? Still in Spanish town, live yeah. in Spanish town, never move from Spanish town. To be mm -hmm. honest, the only time I ever moved from Spanish town is when I came to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get there. Move. Yeah. <laughs> See? So, like, um, Blink, man, I went there and um, I think we had we had a couple of clashes mm -hmm. within that month span. So, from I got there, it's just been clash. Mm -hmm. um, the, first, the first clash... I think we had a discussion about yeah. this first class before. <laughs> and you laugh off of me, brother. <laughs> yeah. But the first class, I think, was based on this. Mm. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why me, Lord? But to be, I don't think, I, I don't remember Lenny, mm -hmm. Lenny, uh, um, Squingy and Glamour being there. Okay. They weren't there. I think they went away too. Because at that time, you know, the opportunity to go overseas, that's where, that's the money. Mm -hmm. That's the money. And while he was there, I can't remember who he was there with. You understand? Because they had other people around the sound that could play the sound. I think a guy named Pablo. Yeah. They had um, Echo Stone, Echo Stone from Donna Alexandra. They are selected at some time, mm -hmm. you know, come to be a Sadesi and could play and stuff like that. And, I remember another you know, dance man and Black Cat versus Bass of the Sea and the dance, hot and the dance, hot and the dance, hot and. I was doing good, like, I do good until I make a speech in you know, the dance. Uh, when I was Bass of the Sea, I couldn't buy clothes, I couldn't buy shoes. Re, re. And me talk all of these things, boosting and loud, you know, come here and say, yeah, people, they must sit with me, they must see why I left. Yeah. And then Wally, basically, they come in and then play about five, six tunes, and then Wally take the mic and theme and theme, big voice talk, you know. Good night, you know, I'm Wally and Ray Ray. And you know, people them excited for your Wally talk now. Wally say, yeah, that select over there. <laughs> Not even name the brother, and give me that. <laughs> <laughs> That select over there was said, leave base of this year, next Friday, and they make one hell of a big speech or something about clothes and some youth are just clothes and them something that them are run down, then they want to learn, then they want nothing in life, and then the man go play Juno Bass. He who seeks of holy vanity and no love for you, man. I swear. 
me do me do want God forgive me I get out of jail free card I get out of hurt free card just just let me disappear for the moment yeah. I come back mm. my battery back for the night but mm-hmm. couldn't win back couldn't win back that like you know people then just see me as that person at the moment yeah. you understand that vanity person mm-hmm. and I like to dress. Mm-hmm. I like to, well, let me say dress up, you know, I like to look good in our clothes and stuff for like sure. that. So that image, I think that image just spoiled the whole night for me. Still, mm-hmm. never get any bashing. Mm-hmm. To be honest, the sound owner, Stevie, never say anything. It was all good. Okay. You understand? When now, I think next, we play a couple more dances, but those were just regular in-between dances. And then now we play Kilimanjaro. Okay, <coughs> was Panta back on black yet? Not yet. Mm-hmm. Never reached back yet. So that responsibility yeah. though <laughs> still mm-hmm. fall for Stevie mm-hmm. and myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I think at the time we had I think I had a two sweet or another another guy there that would talk to, you know? Okay. We are going good in the dance. Right? The dance was good, good. We are clash, we are compete with Chupa. We are going to neck and neck and then Chupa start pull out the big artilleries than me, you know. Mm-hmm. And when in Jaffa, the tenor saw thing. <laughs> and then the man then take out a jigsaw and I say, yo, play this uh, tenor. Mm-hmm. And I say, no, you know that not work with me. No, no play this at uh, No, mm-hmm. not work with me. And I was always a stubborn individual. Like, you know what? Try force anything my way. <laughs> I'm very stubborn. Why I'm stubborn? Because I have principle. I grew up with a certain level of principle. For sure. Uh, honesty. My mom taught me that from her. It says, like, I didn't think that was fair. We think we could have gone another direction. And it didn't come out so well. Mm-hmm. I think the message got back or whatever happened. But, you know, could just sense the tension in the ear. Mm-hmm. But... That was a good night. I didn't know it was a great night <clears throat> because until the Monday, because I the Saturday night, the Sunday, Monday morning, I knew how great that Kilimanjaro clash was. Okay. I didn't know how good, you know, you know when you do a job, and but you don't know how good you, you do the job. You know, it's just other people see the work that you put in and appreciate of the work where you put in. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like, all this time me a crash trooper, I never know a trooper actually a look and a see something in me at the time. Okay. As a little youth from Spanish Town, you understand me? I say, and big up to trooper. 100% give thanks. Without you, Pancho at 4 by 4 Exodus mm-hmm. would never happen. Crazy. Thank you for believing. Seeing the talent and believing in the talent. So after that dance, Monday morning, I'm outside. In front of my gate. They have a guard that dig up some something, 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 and a bike pull up, vroom, vroom, mm-hmm. right beside me. I'm going to look around. Chupa. I say, yo, we are dealing with, we are do boy. Mm-hmm. And I say, yo, are you my come link, man? Somebody tell me, say, around here say them and around here say you live. And I say, mm-hmm. yeah, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And I say, I have a sound no more I play. And I say, what you say? And I say, yeah, man, a sound in 4 by 4 Exodus at town. Lord. Yes. From Mr. Town, I'm ready. Yeah. Because I never really like for travel go country and travel go country and travel go country. Plus, when you play a town, you get to play at some party, you get to play a different, different type of music. And it's you a get different to, vibe It's just a different vibes altogether, you know? Mm-hmm. Even though a class sound is like, you know, a town them bass, we have to play a whole a, a, a big party, same yeah. way. You understand what I say? I say, yeah. I say, yeah, man. Just come link me up to the studio, man, and bring up a yard and sit down. I say, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I had a conversation with Black Cat that my time yeah. was up. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah. me apologize. Mm-hmm. Let me apologize to Black Cat. Let me apologize to the family. You understand what I say? Mm-hmm. Out of respect, I should have actually made that phone call mm-hmm. to say, you know what, me get another opportunity and this is the opportunity I've been waiting for mm-hmm. for the longest while. So when you were on Black Cat, you, didn't, you and Panther didn't get to play a dance never, together? Never, never actually. Mm-hmm. Never actually get to stand up around the sound together. Mm-hmm. Something that I think, you know, it would have been nice 
to actually be around Panta and kind of see him vibes because Panta one of one of dance hall greatest for sure selector won't even call him selector me that's the greatest MC because let's be respectful mm. to the selector big up Yunse Yunse are the man who makes sure say everything stay organized and mm -hmm. the song them a chop you understand what I say but big up to Panta mm -hmm. one of the greatest greatest MC to ever ever touch dance hall okay. when it come to speeches country you with the brother very entertaining oh and my I mean, god he's the only person you see that will be getting licks and smiling while he's okay licks. no worse than that <laughs> let me give you a deep argument now nah, nah, you never understand how pink panther stay yeah pink panther is a man who we are losing clash the, the the worst set of we are I mean nobody in the United dance everybody walk out left him but mm -hmm. guess what go on pink panther think about the cassette when the cassette touch a road, them for hear Pink Panther say a bag of things and I go on like say him a win and a be a forward. Mm -hmm. Miss Pink Panther in a dance and it, nobody at all left in a venue. Everybody gone and Pink Panther pull up a tune about seven times. <laughs> yeah. And about be a forward panty and say my body singing that word, but guess what go on? You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm smart. Mm -hmm. That's a film version of doing things. You understand? Each of us have our own way of success. Success mm -hmm. not have no. No one method. Mm -mm. You understand? Each of us have our own methodology. methodology. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Each of us have that. So, his way is to make sure I'm entertaining not only in front of you, mm -hmm. but even on the cassette. Because mm -hmm. he understood the power of the cassette where it's there might be seven people in the dance, but this will go worldwide where 7,000, 10,000, 20,000 people are hearing yeah. this cassette right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I never understand that. It, I, I understand it at the moment. To me, mm -hmm. at that time, it looked like this brother is just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 at that time, that's yeah. what I got through my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, yo, if the dance gets empty, me gone to my yard. Mm -hmm. Me done. Yeah, <laughs> but not him. He had a vision to understand the bigger picture. The bigger picture, he mm -hmm. could see that. Mm -hmm. He could see that. Yeah. All right. Before we even get into this four by four journey, your name Pancho. How did you get your name Pancho now? Because remember, you had a different name in the beginning. So yeah. how did that come in? Triton, mm -hmm. the producer, Triton, gave me that name. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I think the only explanation he gave me was that you look like my original name tried and when he Pancho. Yeah. And that's how it goes. Like him called me Pancho, I can remember like we in front of him gate. And him I say, yo, you know you look like a virgin Pancho. Mm -hmm. And from him said the word, it's like the next time him see me and call me Pancho. And then somebody else see me and call me Pancho and then all of a sudden I Pancho my name. It's stuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just gets stuck. As we said, De La Vega City. Mm -hmm. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight it. Don't yeah, fight I mean. it. All right. Cool. We got the punch there. So then now you're getting to 4x4. Four four. You went and go check Trooper. And then Trooper, what was the next move from there? Where did he carry you or what happened from there? The next move from there I met with, I think I met with Laddie. Mm -hmm. Laddie mm -hmm. was one of the select and 4x4 four four at the time. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that met me there. Went into a taxi, went up by the house, and up a red hills and got there and got introduced to Dana, you know, got introduced to, I can't remember, probably about two other persons mm -hmm. in the building. Wicked wasn't there at the moment. Okay. Wicked wasn't there at the moment. Wicked come after that, Wicked forward and, yeah, you know, and then that's how the, the link went, you know, went up there and Wicked had... Literally took out everything and just leave everything outside and string up mm -hmm. the sound and say, yo, when him reach, you know? Yeah, everything. Because for some reason, mm -hmm. whatever he heard about me, like, just made him see me, as I say, mm -hmm. not as an apprentice, but now as a pro. He's getting a young professional mm -hmm. selector. was 19, 18, 19, no, mm -hmm. 19, like, son just born. Sun just born, mm -hmm. fire in my belly. I'm hungry. Ready for the I'm road. Hungry, I'm ready for it, like right now. Put mm -hmm. it right on my, by my table right now. I'm ready now. Food, food time. Because the good thing with the 4 by 4 situation, as you said, you went to Base Odyssey as apprentice. Yeah. So for you to excel, it's going to take a bit 
a while longer. Yeah. But getting to 4 by 4 you came in as a pro. So then as a pro. straight up from there. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was it. I'm a top selector. I go in as a top selector. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I always had that attitude as a top selector because I go in, I want to organize. I want to organize. I want to clean up a card. Um, Round my zone, you can smoke, mm-hmm. you can have alcohol near my zone. Okay. All of these things have to steer away. Whenever it's time for you to actually play the zone and be around the zone, anything you do outside, just make sure you stop it because when you get around here, forget about the alcohol and forget about the smoking and all of these things. Leave them there behind the zone because mm-hmm. don't want it in the equipment, don't want it on the record, none of these things. So I was always a, a constant professional. Mm-hmm. So no. I'm at 4x4 four four now and I see all these boxes in front of me. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I start going through and I see like six dub box. And I'm like, what the? And I'm not talking about. There, there's a little dub box that we as sound man used to carry up. You know, the little yeah. small dub box where we compact all with dubs together and then build a small box of travel. Mm-hmm. I'm talking... The big box where, you know, you have two good tunes on this side, two fillers on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm talking yeah. the big dub box or something. I'm be like, yo, mm-hmm. start going through them now. And I'm like, shit, mm-hmm. this sound of tune. By then now, everybody is there. Smokey Joe come up, Wicked come up there. Laddie is there. We start talk about the sound. Them start tell me about the sound. Me start tell them what me like for do. Mm-hmm. How me like for keep things organized. And we start plan out ways of a plan stuff. And say, okay, we're going to use this box of this type of dub. And then we okay. start say, Smokey Joe being the foundation selector. Smokey Joe for have him own set of box them. Mm-hmm. That means those boxes must always reach a dance early, even if. The other ones, they may reach a bit later and stuff like that. And we just love, we love the energy, like, I swear to God, like, mm-hmm. the energy was just so good. Like, we have, we have drink, we have food, music I play. They never leave up at the house until about one o'clock the night, like, the next morning, like, okay. and that was just us playing songs and, you know, just listen to some dub plate and stuff and them I teach me about the dubs them and everything and, yeah. And do you remember what year you got to 4x4? Four four? That was 94. As 94. I said, 94 was that was that pivotal year, you know? Mm-hmm. 94, I got my son in March, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, from there, like, the hunger, like, whatever I was doing when I was younger, to let me not want to push out, mm-hmm. that just, that gone now. Yeah. I have a son now. There's things that I got to accomplish, you know? As we, as I said, we say, you know, mm-hmm. get smarter now, you yeah. know. <laughs> we get smarter right, no. now. You're right. We have to start achieve some things now, you know. Mm-hmm. Have to start make some move now, make some things happen. So then when you got to 4x4, four four, as selectors, it was you. Okay, well, it was Wicked was there. Wicked. Laddie. Laddie. Smokey Joe. Mm-hmm. I know myself. I okay, so it was just the four of you guys. Just the four of us. Mm-hmm. Just the four of us. When did you meet Father Dust? That was months, months after. Months. I actually played, I think we played more than 20 dance before I met Dust. What? Because Dust was overseas. Mm-hmm. I talked to him on the phone, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, trust me, talking to Dust on the phone, Dust convincing you of everything. When Dust finished telling you how great 4x4 four four is, mm-hmm. believe me, it's like, you no know, matter how strong you think your mind is, mm-hmm. Thus. Thus. Before me for going further. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. For sure. Rest in peace to Father Dos. Um Great individual, but a flawed human being. For sure. Like most of us. Mm-hmm. You understand? But Father Dos are one of the, the elders that we like to give you the opportunity. Bully you a lot too, because mm-hmm. as I say, giving them the opportunity, but still have that that we're, part we're of gonna get, we're gonna get it. <laughs> but <laughs> RIP, you see mm-hmm. me. But that was that was it. Like it took me a while before I met him because he was overseas. Mm-hmm. He was so overseas. Who was managing the song? Or Dana? Okay. Dana was the boss. Yeah. Dana was the boss. When we need money, when the mm-hmm. PF come, when anything for happen, Dana. We just link Dana. Dana mm-hmm. have everything locked. 
does it that tell her exactly what to do. Yeah. Anytime the money comes, we go to any artist, we go cut any dub plate or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We go to Dana, pick up the money, you understand? Okay, and so you guys were cutting the dubs then? At that point, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where. Mm -hmm. Why? It will hurt some people's feelings right now when I talk, but it will hurt it you because know, I mm -hmm. don't have a spear in no the feelings. You know. mm -hmm. Best set of 4x4 Exodus dubs came from that time frame. That time frame. Mm -hmm. You understand? The only, the only problem I had with that time with cutting dub mm -hmm. was that Chupa was cutting a lot of our singing dubs. Okay. Our garnet silks and uh, the Zoshianas, everybody, like all out, we look at singing dub them. We Those would, were all trooper. We, we, would be, we would be going to cut the Bujubantan and the Bunty Killers and all of these. But Trooper, mm -hmm. because Trooper had the link with these artists and these artists always around Trooper, thus would confide in Trooper, mm -hmm. you know, to get these things done. Granted, they are their friendship long before mm -hmm. not my issue you understand my job is just if you can get me this tune mm -hmm. let me do my job when time the opportunity presents itself you get me mm -hmm. that's the way it works you understand but yeah that's the best the best set of the dubs was at that time there that, that was me and wicked in the studio me and wicked in the studio because mm -hmm. like we could take uh wicked wicked love my energy because laddie was Laddie was Laddie. Mm -hmm. Laddie was always a little gallist type of person. You know, Laddie was mm -hmm. more into the, the girls and Smokey Joe Elna. Mm -hmm. Theme focus mainly up on the foundation thing. When I go around Wicked now, just imagine mm -hmm. Wicked being 17, me being 19 years old. It's like, it's like we're in the same, we're in the same era in our life right there and then. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? A wicked, wicked rate me like, I be, believe me, I grew up around a lot of friends and a lot of good friends. Like, cause as a youth growing up, we mm. had like the most progressive crew. Okay. Our crew was always progressive. Like coming out of our crew right now, I can tell you about almost 90% of the guys are successful. Okay. In their path that they choose. You understand accountant and all of these things. So I grew up with a great crew. Mm -hmm. But my potential as a selector... They didn't see it as clearly as Wicked side. Yeah. It's almost like you see how Glamour G found his squingy? Yes. Wicked yeah. found his poncho. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like from the first, I swear, like from the first day. I think I think when he, when he came into the yard that day mm -hmm. and he saw me organizing record and pulling up boxes and say everything, everything, sorting out and stuff like that and then come and... Yeah, we mm -hmm. kid and sitting there and say, yeah, man, and, um, and in question where I do, I say, okay, all right. You know, me, I try to get these things organized because, you know, mm -hmm. them dancers stuff here, mm -hmm. nothing to you know, the reggae stuff, them kind of keep them separate so that, you know, when they juggle, you have that. It's like immediately, it's like him just take and I say, yeah, oh, crap. Yeah. No, man, I've stressed so much <laughs> over this. <laughs> So it's like him love the him love the energy and the work ethic and from mm -hmm. from day one mm -hmm. from day one me and wicked just we just connect we just know exactly what we're doing you know mm -hmm. and took on the road yeah we take on the road and that was it first big night on four by four what was it to my bad luck every time I have a big night it's always <laughs> going to be with a sound that I was with. <laughs> Brother, yeah. brother, I think I saw the salt and tan. <laughs> when the first thing come out of the act yeah. was black cat. I didn't think I saw the salt. Like, yeah. swear to God, me like, yo, why me have so salt, brother? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, St. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. first night. Four by four Exodus. Mm -hmm. Black cat. That night, like, that night I can remember, like, four selector on the sound, and you look over Black Cat, them have three selector on the sound, and, mm -hmm. you know, Pantan are walking at the dance, yet, yeah, reach at the dance, because we have to travel with the truck. No car for ourselves, so we have to get string up, mm -hmm. we can string up the sound. Okay. 
So Wicked was the one who string up the sound and string up and tune up the sound when the sound go on the road. You know, if it need a major tune up, they would call Denton and stuff like that. But Wicked on the road, you know. So I have to go down early with the truck, you know. Everything and set up a sound. So we in the land from in the day, walk up and down barefoot and talk to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just enjoy ourselves and string up the sound, you know. So by the time we fresh and start playing something, man. Mm -hmm. Remember me attack, I did attack and we are bust a dance and I drop some tune and Panta walk in in a full suit of white. And I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Attack before him attack, you know? Mm -hmm. Talk, get at him, you know? Make people them know say, yo, you ready, man? I'm mm -hmm. start mock him and say, yo, you play for West Indies, you're a cricketer. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> and that's a boss and the people ever get all excited because you and I know say. Mm -hmm. The people them not only I get excited because of what I say. They might get excited because them new up and talk come back, come mm -hmm. say something, so they be like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go and wake up your hands mm -hmm. You know what got at me in that, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. And him did come in and them play some song and them him talk some things and him go and add. But the night mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. him couldn't stop with because Wicked, Wicked found like a new confidence level. Like Wicked look around him, like Wicked look around him and... Mm -hmm. It mean for make mistake in the dance. That's how bad it was, like for wicked. Yeah. The man make mistake in the dance and, and, and like me and Laddie are play. Mm -hmm. Because like, the, the great thing about 4x4 four four Exodus is Wicked could jog, could play songs, can mix and talk. Mm -hmm. I can mix and talk. Laddie can mix and talk. Okay. So there's <laughs> nobody on the sound. Smokey Joe can mix and talk, but we don't put him in the mix when they come on to the art part of the dance. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. But there's nobody on the sound that cannot handle the sound by themselves. Got you. So that was the strength. So if I come in one night and that the dance one night, and I, I feel worse, sir, the energy in the up yet. I could always say, laddie, mm -hmm. run the round. Yeah. Meet at the next round. You understand? So, like, me I play and can remember me organize up the song them now, you know. So now me know the dub box and I me organize it, me know the record them. <laughs> we organize it so we are play on me a chop and laddie attack and we can just come take your mic and just say, yo. I don't feel like I have to even play the song tonight, you know, because me have a tool, young apprentice that will be mm -hmm. like look around be like, okay, that we are gonna take out of your mouth. That <laughs> now gonna come out of your mouth again. You'll never say that ever again. Yeah. <laughs> like like I'll be a lot of look around for each other. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, did he just call us mm -hmm. friends? This? <laughs> Yo, mm -hmm. my brother. God know my brother. Mm -hmm. Mr. R.I.P. Wicked. God know. Trust me. Cause you, guys, you guys did a lot of work together. You guys put in a yeah. crazy amount of work together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wicked, I'm a... Mm -hmm. Wicked, I'm a brother, brother. Like, not even just musically, like... Me and Wicked just like we always we always a communicate with each other. Like when mm -hmm. we come we, we reach a Canada, reach a Canada, me and Wicked talk almost every other day. Okay. We and Wicked talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. WhatsApp everything. We talk. You understand? Mm -hmm. Everything we might do with theme song, me know and if me need an artist link at Jamaica, a wicked me call. Mm -hmm. You understand? So my brother. But back to that night cause mm -hmm. If we get into the part yeah. later, I'll get too deep right <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna get eventually. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and black cat and when we can say that now, we look around for wicked and we say, all right, no yourself about it. No, as I'm say, I'm have a new confidence. So mm -hmm. we just allow him for just masking and glory mm -hmm. at the moment. And the dance hat and we beat up black cat. Okay. Beat up black cat. Beat up black cat. Like. I don't remember them putting in a round that I can say, okay, I give you a round of applause for that. Mm -hmm. No round. It was just, we just have beat them. Because mm -hmm. at that time, at that time, 4x4 four four Exodus was known as a sound. Go country, go left from town, go country, go beat, boy. Okay. And we had a gun sound. And we had a sound when they see the two big gun on the box. They know yes. say, yo. I forgot, boy. <laughs> yes, yes. When they yes. see the two big gun on the box, them come mm -hmm. on, them know. It's a war machine there. Mm -hmm. 
the big explosion is a war machine there, so. Mm -hmm. And then a joke thing. We don't cover ourselves a joke with people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, and the dancer will beat them. Mm -hmm. And we take that crown of the night down. From that night, it's like, it's like, we eyes just open up and like, we just look on each other and we say, yo, we can do some crazy thing in other business, you know? Mm -hmm. Who the hell does kill? Send anything you don't feel like you don't want to send, come on. We were ready, like, ready, like, right there and then. So 4x4's thing was just more war. It wasn't really juggling. It was just, we want to clash. No. Mm -hmm. We, we wanted it to be all wrong. Mm -hmm. The ability to do everything. Got you. War when it's time to war. Juggle when it's time to juggle. Let me show you. Like, there was a time when I had to play the song by myself. Okay. One night, Yui mm -hmm. and Delano, Jazzy T came there at the party. I mean, me, Yui, we are talking about Taylor mm -hmm. We are talking about Taylor Alla Yui. You know, if you play Taylor Alla Yui, That's do not juggling. mess this up. Yeah, and I saw the best brother. This is like, this is like a different level of party. These are. Mm -hmm. University type of brain with us, just one party, party ad. Mm -hmm. And it was me alone, like mm -hmm. I'm there by myself. Brother, we play the party. That's the night when Jazzy T, Jazzy T looked at me the night and said, Pancho, mm -hmm. all the time me I hear the name. Never know you so bad, my general. Although Delano almost catch off a whole of my niggle. I'd be like, yo, brother, hurry up, man. Mm -hmm. If you brought my niggle, I'd have no more right to mm -hmm. replace it. <laughs> you get me, but um, mm -hmm. that night, Walt Taylor Hall, Walt Taylor Hall, man. Juggling, juggling some mad, juggling some mad that we get about three bookings right after that. Okay. Right after that for you, WI. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that was, that was one of my major disappointments. One half. Mm -hmm. My major disappointment with 4 by 4 Exodus. Mm -hmm. Dust just wanted one direction. Got you. Dust wanted one direction. And knowing Dust, Dust wants to get what Dust wants. If him not get that, nothing not work out right. Mm -hmm. You understand? But we wanted, we the selectors, mm -hmm. wanted to be able to play Different, different. Because remember, we could come from Alman Town mm -hmm. and where we could live, Metro Media live up the street. Okay. So we could used to hearing a lot of juggling and the old school and the, the all different type of music I play. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, and I come from Amplex, which was juggling in the beginning. So it's like, you know, we kind of have that. You understand? And Ladia Gali. So, 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 so it made sense because you guys were. Jugglers by heart, killers by instinct. Yeah, by instinct. You don't want to mess with it. Like it's like we then a party and the selector just say, "Some boy ain't bad like me." Okay, all right, war. We done. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like it's like we're deer just waiting and it's like. You just press the remote. They know mm -hmm. them good remote that with the good battery in it. As soon as you go and press the power, just come on. I saw it still. Like, yeah, ready. we triggered. We, we triggered. Because mm -hmm. worse to know we have the ammunition. Mm -hmm. And we know we have ammunition. We know how much we have. So it's like, as soon as they talk, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Did you guys ever play with Stone Love? Yes. You guys did? Yeah. We had some good dance with Stone Love, actually. Because I don't remember those times. I don't really remember a lot of, I don't remember any 4x4 four four in Stone Love, to tell you the truth. We played Stone Love, Red Hills, mm -hmm. Tapa Red Hills, um, with the same, the same promoter I'm telling you about from Bermuda, mm -hmm. Mr. T. Trevor. We play um, African Pride from Bermuda came down and it was Stone Love, 4x4 four four and African Pride. Okay. Yeah. How did those dances work out with 4x4 four four and so forth? I know you guys are very aggressive in playing and Stone Love wasn't into that stuff. How did those dances balance out? Okay, the reason why we could play with Stone Love and there was no disrespect is mm -hmm. um, we both know the respect we had for him. Mm -hmm. We both know the respect we had for his organization because we know that Stone Love is a juggling machine. And if you're a juggling machine, I just say, we're not going to disrespect you just like that. Mm -hmm. You understand? 
Plus Denton was the one who Denton string up stole love four by four Exodus. Mm -hmm. So he was that connection in between. So once Denton put on the event, mm -hmm. we know that it's a juggling from day one. We get the message, we get the memo, <laughs> we get everything. They make sure for the whole week. Them keep telling us, do remember this dance is juggling. On the don't even have to carry the dub them. You understand? <laughs> so. From that time, you know, yeah, Stone Love and we always good. We always good with sound. Mm -hmm. We always good with sound. The once and I disrespect, we were good. Cause Wicked wasn't a bossy individual mm -hmm. or a hype individual. <laughs> Neither was I. Yeah, am I? Mm -hmm. You understand? Not bossy, not hype. But kinda just we we are doing job. If it's a clash, I we job. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we just go in with that intention. If it's juggling, we're going to prepare for the juggling, but we triggered. So if you say something, mm -hmm. or you do something, I try to prove a point, I try to make a name for yourself, we're going to make a no, so you're not going to make a name man, for we. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're going to pull out the big guns, them, and we're going to fire them, and you're going to get shot, yeah. and we're going to any night and just make a no, say, so, okay, mm -hmm. not tonight. Not tonight. It's not That's your our night. program. Not Got your it. night. <laughs> okay, so you guys did the Stone Loves and all that. Metro Media, I remember one time 4x4 four four and Metro Media bucked up. I can't remember where it was, but it, it turned, it got ugly very quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you remember about that answer. Okay. The reason why it got ugly was the connection with Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> because, as I say, Metro mm -hmm. Media is dear. Wicked live on the same street. Mm -hmm. Sky Juice, we have X amount of respect to Sky Juice, but they like to disrespect us sometimes. You understand? I think we were at Central Village mm -hmm. one night with them. Yes. They like to disrespect us mm -hmm. because here what happened now. See, in this business mm -hmm. or in life in general, some people think you're there to please their expectation. Mm -hmm. We weren't with the inside, outside, in the meantime, between time. We weren't that. Mm -hmm. We were the type of selector who come on the mic and say, yo, we are going, we are dealing, yeah. We, we use a normal vice. We mm -hmm. don't make no vice. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? So we are call, we know I step in at the game as a, as a Kingston sound. You know how follow Metro Media? Mm -hmm. You know how follow Soul Love? Disrespect, you disrespect the kings of Kingston? We are trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know how try to be like jam rock them? We are trying to do. You understand? I will be like, uh-uh. I know our silent. I know our silent. We are different. We are some young youth, blood art, and we dare to play music for the people and entertain the people. And whichever way we can. Juggling mm -hmm. our war. Any way we can. And that we dare to do. Mm -hmm. So that dance just get ugly because I believe, I think Weber says something. Weber says something and we could get pissed off. We could never like it. Mm -hmm. Cause we could feel like it was a personal show or thing. And if we could throw a punch, mm -hmm. me throw a kick, brother. It's not like him if he asks me if he do it. You mm -hmm. just know, say, brother, if you say a war, a war, or anything you say, brother. Like, mm -hmm. me not there for calm you down, brother. Mm -hmm. But they have to make sure, say, you know, say, you have somebody there for shoot with you, brother. You understand? So you say war, then we just go at them like early in the morning. We just go at them. And we just never ease up. We, ne we never ease up until we feel like, say, okay, we're satisfied now. We, yeah. We're kind of happy. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yes, man. I remember yeah. that dance clearly, yeah. clearly. Yeah. Another song now. You said you booked a black cat already. Bass Odyssey. Bass Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we need to set some things clear? But before we even get to the point, there can be no one ever talk about the 4x4 Exodus base of the sea of a port more. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the Addis and mm -hmm. base of the sea and 4x4 that we didn't turn up to. Uh -huh. But let me start with the one where we didn't turn up to. Okay. We were there. We were there at the yard, sitting mm -hmm. inside the yard today, chuck pack up, boxman them ready, drive in and chuck. Waiting for Susie Q to make sure our money reach. Mm -hmm. And that was Susie Q them dance. I Susie Q did a sleep with Lenny. Mm -hmm. So that was Susie Q them dance. You understand? We never ever play Addis and Bass, so they say, with no money. Mm -hmm. 
Thus being thus, no one say my boss. Uh, my boss, no one say him spend a bag of money. Cause when he come out to anything, just like to spend money, and he like to tell everybody say he spend money. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, we did the yard. No money no come. We did the. We did the yard so till about nine, ten o'clock. Just a wait. Just a wait upon them. Just a wait upon them to say yo. Make your money reach you. We come string up. Cause we did have some box man. Boxman then come from Tower Hill. You know what I ramp with them boxman. I only set a boxman them there where we are selected us allow them. Yeah. We just yo we can't bother with them. Just just go on. Eh, so some money here on the go and go do one of you like we do go and go live. Cause <laughs> they are they are ten serious. Mm -hmm. You see me? Yeah. I saw them see. So it's like with the yard and a wait and the money never reach. And from the money no reach and contract no reach. And let's be honest, me now go put Reputation on the line mm -hmm. for free. King of these and bass of this, that was going to be Bounty Fest. Yes. That's what we call the dance, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever them put on the flyers never matter to we, you know, from them book with the dance, you know, what we call it Bounty Fest. Mm -hmm. We say, yo, this is a Bounty Fest. We are lining up every Bounty, every combination we can find, everything. And you see, the box, the box is separate from. Everything else. Because you see, when we decide say we're gonna broke some leg off or some song mm -hmm. and we're gonna kill some boy bounty box, we're gonna just wipe it out clean. And then we're gonna just save cause we did have some bounty where uh, since about six, seven years ago, we start hear some sound. Here before play them. And for the sound, them I say, no, I lie, you tell. You will not go cut. What a piece of bad luck come in, say, what a piece of spell. Four X or a sound boy gone in a hell. Where the Satan and kill himself an angel. With sound boy life, we invest, buy and sell. Yo, no fun to go cut. Big things are going 2004. We just, yo, no fun to just go cut them things they were there. Mm -hmm. We know. Because no boy couldn't go in our door box to get them there. Cause we no we no vice bounty killer unless bounty had do twelve and twenty song. When Jamin then see we far what I sued her, Jamin then no say sued the lock for and two or just just call it a day, brother. Anything you need to do, cancel it. Cause when bounty going I sued her, bounty already for write mm -hmm. write lyrics on the spot, come up with rhyme on the spot, do everything we have to do on the spot just to make sure say yo we get dubs. On the spot. On the spot. You understand what I say? We could have, we, 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 we are one of the only songs we could have get Bunty Killer for just counteract some people's song. We're going to go into this Bounty segment <laughs> just now. I just want to finish off this piece, honestly, before we yeah, get into all this right. Bounty. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. So, that be a Celeste dance, yeah, we missed that one there. Okay. We bought be a Celeste as Tear Town. That was Queen G and Glamour G at them glorious best. Queen G and I'm always Glamour G at them best. Mm -hmm. And we beat them so till... When we are come out of the dance, when we are walk out of the dance, mm -hmm. basically they say I play the same way. And we walk out of the dance and everybody just call it a night. Mm -hmm. Because basically they say don't lose. Then draw for everything then could have draw for all when them future troubles karate sang a kill a bag of sound down mm. there. Then draw for it now one fence not get kicked down. Brother, mm -hmm. when we done beat and beat and beat and beat and beat, it's like, I swear, then don't know what hit them. They don't know what hit them. They, 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 it, it took them by surprise. And what were you guys playing at that time there that was so forceful to get base out of sea off their game at that time there? All right, our game plan, our game plan was always different for different sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, we know the sound them where mm, them want to draw out the whole dance, so till them get a chance to play a dub for dub. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, because them strength that dub for dub, mm -hmm. them they would just wipe them out early. Like seriously, we just go in for the kill from early, mm -hmm. because by the time you get for dub for dub, you're either too weak. For the people them think you win the dance, or we already mm -hmm. win the dance and walk away with it and just call it a day. You understand? So, when it comes to Bia that night on Bia I was there. Mm -hmm. I know it says Squinji as bad, and when me tell it says Squinji bad, I have Squinji. 
Like, when I put a selector mm -hmm. in a category of greatness, I consider Squinji the greatest. For sure. Like, the greatest. Mm -hmm. A youth that can do it, that do almost everything across sound system. Mm -hmm. Almost everything. Play the music, do everything, just... In just have a power. Mm -hmm. So I read Squinji. But I knew that Squinji wasn't really strong verbally. Like, him can't really, him can't really come up with some fierce argument at that the time. Time there. At that time. Because mm -hmm. as I say, when Squinji got to be in the great Squinji, you know, was when all the responsibility fell on Squinji, you know. Mm -hmm. When the Glamour G and Lenny left, you know. This is when the sound split. When the sound split. Mm -hmm. That's when the true Squinji came out. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, all the responsibility fell on his shoulder. And they built a team around him and build a team and let him know that it's up to you. You are you are the UCN Bolt our relay team right now. Mm -hmm. And he did pull it off. Yeah, come watch him enough now and sell it to the team. And he did pull it off. Yeah. He did show them, say, yeah, he deserved that opportunity. See, but at that time, Squinchy never have no bag of talk. Mm -hmm. And as you say, me know Glamour G, he never have no bag of talk. And he knew he never have no bag of talk. And he knew so he knew he never have no bag of talk. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. So, when we attack them, it's like, we attack them confidence mm -hmm. because at that time, as me say, we had the sound, we, Kilimanjaro, when we left town mm -hmm. for go country. Country sound no say them in a trouble. Then no say, I don't know, play, play thing. I don't know, joke machine I come down there. I don't know, sound where, I don't know, sound where I, 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 I worry about if we go play a round robin Sunday. Mm -hmm. This is a sound where we are Monday to Monday. We were. You understand? So, we just confident. We know that so we can go in a country and we can go in. Mm -hmm. So, we had, that, we had that belief in us. Um, when we reach at the dance and from the dance start, Wicked, Wicked said to Mr. Pancho, a year and a night, you know. And I said, brother, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. And I said, Pancho, a year and a night, man. Any vex of vex with them, man, and any anger you have, man. Mm -hmm. Kill them, man. Take it out from them, man. Everything, man. Yeah, man. As a merciless, it has to let them have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, man. Yo, it's like from around one more, I make them have it. Like, me just want to kill. Like, I don't, me just, we just in another mode there. And mm -hmm. We just a click the night. That we click, we click. And we win the dance. And even when the dance done, everybody attack. And everybody at town will come back at town. And everybody will play the cassette. And everybody will talk about it or something. I don't think it it did even dawn on us how big that dance was. Yeah, no, that was a legendary one, that one there. Yeah. yeah, man, we, we never know. Cause like to us, it's just, just like, as I say, we are too little you. Another day on the job. It's man. just another day for us, brother. Like, mm. our thing is just to focus on, okay, what we're going to do next? We're party the next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, we beat them there, so. Mm -hmm. Then comes now the Portmore. Ha ha. Portmore clash now. And this is where the record is going to get set straight. Mm. Portmore clash, I left the sound one month and two weeks before the clash. Okay. And if now that you know that lady G and my sister, you can call her and ask her and get clarification about that one. I was never supposed to play the sound the night. I, w I didn't plan to play the sound. Mm -hmm. I only went to the dance as a fan to support Wicked mm -hmm. and the team as a fan of 4x4 Exodus, mm -hmm. not as a selector. Thus come from firing. Me and us can't agree. Hmm. We couldn't agree. One, I hate brag and boast and hype and all of these things. I, them things, they just go against every fiber of my being. Mm -hmm. And thus have all of that in a him. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I'm a boss. 
But I him that everybody have them flaws, me have mine too. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we 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 just keep we, we kept on arguing, arguing over over every little thing and him like for tell selector mm -hmm. what them should I play, and what them should I say, and what them should I do. And me me I first selector for say, yo, love we make we do a job. Yeah. If you don't want us to play the song, then go hire some other people. Mm -hmm. One night, I think, I think, I think we go Portland or something like that, and come back up and go up the yard, leave, go home the morning. When me I leave, go home the morning, me not get no money. Mm -hmm. Me not get the money, but still go home. Me that money, go home. Return a couple of days after about the Thursday. Return for collect my pay. Return for collect my pay. Me say, dust. And a certain entertainer. Mm -hmm. Now I go call them name because me no want to get them involved in that something. You understand? So I say dust and a certain entertainer and just attack tough and wait it. I mean I say dust. With all due respect, you know you can't do me nothing, right? Because he knew where I was from. Mm -hmm. I'm from De La Vega City and we were so, we are such a tight knit community that it's like if you if you do one of us something, it's like the whole community you are violated. Mm -hmm. You understand? And all of my friends, them, all my people, them, them know me, them love me. We, we get the respect where we're from because we are good youth and we do a lot of good for we community and everybody around us. You understand? Mm -hmm. what I mean? So just knowing could violate me. So it turned out into this big argument. And this entertainer go for cutlass. I run, come round. Run, come round. Yo! Oh, I'm to you, chop you, I'm chop you, I'm ray, ray, ray. I mean, I say, yo, you just give you a little money on a hype up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Behave yourself, man. Let me tell you something. You're entertaining. You're with the past stage and you're a gunshot and think it's gun salute, but you're the come on. So mm -hmm. don't do that something there. And I see, I swear to God, Almighty God, exactly that I said to him. I mm -hmm. said, don't do that something there. You're entertaining, man. Don't do that something there. See you, Taddy, son. That's all right. I just say, you know what? Keep your money. God, I mean, this is not worth it. Mm -hmm. I'm half of the sound, and that's when them I are crazy Chris and youngster. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. yes. I'm here to start again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so crazy Chris and gangster come from the sound now. Mm -hmm. You know, say every week, we kid a link, me. Punch away, I do. Punch in our forward rock I saw. No wicked. Can't bother with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, always did have a, a thing when I set the dust with us. It always eat my feet. I always say, a fool and his money shall soon part. I always eat me for them little something. Come. As I said, I grew up with a certain level of principle. None of my friends not come from riches. So it's like, we never know riches growing up. So it's mm -hmm. like, vanity never means shit to us. Mm -hmm. Friendship was our value. Our true value was friendship and the quality of life and how we live with each other. Mm -hmm. That was our true value. You understand? So now does I show that no, that not going to work with me. So, wasn't supposed to play the song. Reach at the dance now. Me and G there in the dance. Only if you see dust and some toil man and some bad rap places I want to come over to me. Yo, what's up? Mm. What you do? What you do? Yo, you know play a song? I said, no, nah, man. I'm not going to sound thing, brother. Mm. Man, I said, no, say you have to play a song, star. You don't know, say, man, you need your own song, brother. We can need your own song, brother. I said, mm -mm, I'm not going that. And G, I said, yo. In our place, son. I mean, I said, mm, never really planned for it. I said, man, she I said, no, man, go on a place, son. I said, man, then, Wicked then come over and suck, man. Mm -hmm. And Wicked did that reason. I said, I never planned for playing a song, son. I just support me, come for support. And I said, no, man, come here. I said, all right, then. I clash, I'll be here, so they say. Mm -hmm. We're not in a fear. You understand? So we got to boop and step up. Brother. From a step up on the sound box, if I would me get just a stand up on the sound box. Okay. Make me feel like, yeah, me if you play a sound. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. See? But remember, I wasn't at the sound for a month and a half. Mm -hmm. Just imagine how oh, misorganized things has gotten, had gotten at that point. Mm -hmm. Because I'm no longer there. To be the man who keep 
everything organized day after day because I would leave Spanish Town on a Thursday, mm -hmm. even though the dance a Friday, just to go to town for go reorganize the box and make sure so everything clean up and everything good. I would go do that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, here up now. Boom. Crazy Chris, gangster, mm -hmm. wicked, mm -hmm. no more laddie this time. He left for Super D, but we'll get to that just Because by then, Iman does had fallen out too. Mm -hmm. And gone a Super D. Okay. Yeah. And be like, okay, all right. Stand up on the box, no one. People, they want to make a bag of nice and sit and wicked say, think uh, gone is silk and bujo. Gone is silk and bujo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to make a bad speech because I know. You do wrong, they complain. Even if you call the father's name, somebody quit. Somebody go call it. Yeah. <laughs> and me I say, mm -hmm. me I say, yeah, me know a big tune this. Make me big speech. Mm -hmm. And then give me a tune, the rebel brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Tune rebel, great, great artist. But sure. my speech was never designed. For the Tony Rebel. Mm -hmm. So you imagine now, half we look right there, so. And then now, he never really prepared for the class. Mm -hmm. So it's like immediately now, my brain starts chigger one, one mode where I don't like, when you're in panic mode, like, I don't like it because, yo, mm -hmm. what if me get myself in there right now. When me get myself in there right now. <laughs> Why me choose to be the good, kind-hearted person if you come do this shit when me know say if I did this, I'm going to come up here so come do this to me. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to say, boop, no one. Me start to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Now me getting distracted. Mm -hmm. Me get distracted now because now can't talk, tell the man to say the flip side of the bounty with the car the ride. That up the other is a jamming player. Look for the jamming player with the card ride bounty that have on the dock. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I say, me can't do that and concentrate on the crowd at the same time. So, mm -hmm. really and truly, I make me just I make nice. Me just a turn and go, oh, yeah, and rare, rare, rare. just nice me. I make me not really, I do nothing progressive right there. So, yeah, come in, I get for put together no speech and two of them at beer. So, they say, I not like that. So, that was the first round in a nutshell, mm -hmm. basically, be a scramble. Shamble. Then be so they say come in with a round when he um, we designed this uh, four by four, but we're gonna pretend like we own this shit. Yes, be so they say Uno don't own sound boy you're dead this time and none of them there. Uno no who own them. Doc Rhythm is four by four. We who own it. Uno don't own it. Uno design that round basically out of our box. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Back to the argument. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See? So then come in with that row now, where literally took everything that I was trying to get mm -hmm. my team to do and just put it in for them juggling. And then all of a sudden, them have the lead. Mm -hmm. To get back the lead now, it would take us like, it would take some superpower. You understand? In which, on the night, mm -hmm. from what I learned, Crazy Chris don't listen to nobody. Gangster don't make no sense about that even try to give him direction. Because he made a last all if you tell him, take three left and you reach the building. Mm -hmm. He made still take a right somewhere in the middle. You understand? <laughs> no, this is a joke, brother. We're talking about that together. Yo. It's like, it just, we just saw out of sync. Yeah. And then, because me leave Wicked up there with us all this time, and him and us not agree either. Mm. Feel energy level, not right, because him not have me there, there if, he, if he support him all the time, and I say, yo, this or this and that or that, you see me? And if he keep the thing together. So all of the pressure now, when me left, all of that pressure there and the stress go up at him. Mm -hmm. So everywhere does bring him go, does I tell him, play this, play that. I go foreign, he might play. Does I come tell him, say, no, play some Bob Marley. Enjoy some Bob Marley and get boo in I dance. In there, I look for dub and does come and talk to him, I talk to him, I talk to him, so till dub fade out. 
Hmm. So tell what well, play for you that. Hmm. You understand the dilemma? So it's like something we never talked about before, cause as I said, brother, this is my this is my first interview when I choose. Mm -hmm. For actually express my feelings about all of these things when it come on to sound system because this is my life. This uh, me do this for the love, not the money, not the fame, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Me just do this for the love because I love entertain people, brother. I love entertain people. You yeah, understand? I get a joy from that. That night, with all the way I am, mm -hmm. I had all of my friends them from Della. Okay. In the dance too, can mm -hmm. remember them as support BSA Desi now because Lenny and Glamour G Dep and BSA Desi. Right. And we were always BSA Desi supporter. So yes. at that as you said earlier, yes, yes. So at that night, I look like a Judas. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because it's not like I didn't get the opportunity to be at BSA Desi. I was there, but I decided to leave. Mm -hmm. And then we go kill them as Tear Town. And when I kill them as I go back to Della, I could have say, like, I go up on the corners, I could have said a whole heap of argument at all. <laughs> and some people didn't feel really hurt by it. <laughs> you understand? So now that them get a chance now, but now them get Lenny. Mm -hmm. Them get Lenny now. So Lenny know my personal story. Me know Lenny personal story, Glamour G. You understand? So it, it's more personal now. Mm -hmm. So the second round now, I say, all right now. I could try to stabilize this ship, you know. See? I line up some tune, you know, like, brother, I said, I line up a tune. It's like, the way I line it up, all I have to do is go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. You don't have to do nothing else, brother. Just, just take it up, see me. Can I even flip the plate them mm -hmm. on the side? So when you take, up the, the, you take it up, just slide it up, put it on the turntable. You're good. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. The man didn't screw up that after two songs. Anyways, when them start make them mistake there, they say no. I start hear my friend them. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Before we go any further, big up, big up the buckles. Mm -hmm. Big up the buckles. Yeah, when me look around and you may see I can move. <laughs> I love my friend them still, brother. <laughs> Nothing can change the love of me after my friend them I grew up with. You see, because at the greatest time in her life, brother. Mm -hmm. But let me see a boo. Yeah. Now, now imagine that impact they know. When you look around and you have every friend them and I see a man there for the corners with yesterday and last <laughs> Yo, yeah. brother. But let's start boo and I think that that does change the course of the dance. Like, mm -hmm. like rest of the audience them start get involved in it and stuff like that and that does with the confusion where we are going with around this you know mm -hmm. it just people are see all of these things you know and if you remember you know, when you come to clash you know it's not like party you know mm -hmm. in our party people don't pay attention to the selector mm -hmm. they pay attention to everything where the selector play but in our clash they pay attention to the selector and everything where my do where my yeah. set where my play everything get the attention there Mm -hmm. So now we look confusing, you understand? And unfortunately, on my part, I don't think I had the experience at that point to kind of know exactly what to do to stabilize the ship. Okay, I get it from that point of view because you've been clashing already and all that, but you haven't found yourself in a situation like this before yes to really say okay how do i balance back yes mm -hmm. how do i get back from how do i get back from this okay being out for a month and a half mm -hmm. no clash coming back to a completely new team how do i take over this and i was never the type of person who like to push people out or push people to the side mm -hmm. you understand me i say i like to work with people to kind of try to create a balance which on that night with the characters that was there there was no balance happening right there you understand? Mm -hmm. Because most people, in a most situation, when a team a win, mm -hmm. everybody want to take a piece of the glory. But when a team a lose, everybody want to point a finger and I say, you are the reason why. Yeah. So guess what go on now? And that night probably, gangs and crazy kids are looking and say, yo, you better we did a talk because we did a play sound for your month. 
and something punch should have come. Everybody have them own thing circulating at them head. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, to be honest, me know wicked round there trying best I try to find way my find just say get to back in I clash. I mean they know I try to say the things them, but then them plan for we like them have this basically they say at this plan together and then execute them plan. That's what it was. You guys got the execution. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And you have to respect them. Mm -hmm. And that night, PSA they say had a plan. PSA they say execute their plan. Mm -hmm. And their plan work. The only thing that made that plan look like it was such a glorious thing. Mm -hmm. You want me to tell you why? What's up? Portmore Entertainment Center. Mm -hmm. Because it was the biggest place anywhere in town to keep a sound clash. Mm -hmm. And that ground was known as the ground that can make or break you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Henceforth, that's why when they, you come up with Adiz, BSA, they say four by four, you come up with all these clash after that. No joke. You got to come up at us straight. Like, right there and then, we know what the ground mean. Mm -hmm. This ground mean we have to go there and we have to be on top of our game constantly because this is a ground where killers are born and killers die. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's not like you guys are going back to one of the country dances where they might hear the cassette, they might yeah. not. That's something different. But one year in Portmore Entertainment Center, boss? Boss. That's the, you know how when you go to New York, you have the Biltmore. When you go to all these places, you have that special killing grounds? Yes. That was the killing ground. Yes. You know what I mean? That was it. Mm -hmm. And that's what made the whole difference. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but even up to that point, I still consider, we kill base this in state town. Mm -hmm. That's your house, brother. That's your house. We mm -hmm. kick down your door, kick off your grill. Right inside your house. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do what we're supposed to do and walk out. Victorious. You came to Portmore Entertainment Center. Yes. Them beat me. Mm -hmm. And that night, they were victorious. You understand? Mm -hmm. Granted all of the happenings leading up to it, the fans out there never really care about all of that because that doesn't matter to them. At all. They pay their money to come in to come see two sound a class rate. No one cares about your personal life. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that all. doesn't matter. At the end of the day, BSA DC was victorious. One other night where that involved BSA DC, but then now Bodyguard was involved. Yes. This was a dance with 4x4, four four, four us. BSA DC, and Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Pour us. Yes. Pour that us. That was the infamous Garnet Silk for Garnet, Garnet Silk, Silk dance. dance. Tell yes. me about that dance there. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That dance, I can say, if me give my honest opinion, my, 100%. well, me go give my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. My honest opinion on it is, me can't give nobody no victory. Because there was no clear winner mm -hmm. of that dance. Maybe you listen to the cassette, mm -hmm. maybe you think that somebody win, but believe me, them break the rule board, them break the rule board six times. Yeah. Because we were supposed to play singers only, just singing. At one point, we had crazy combinations with DJs and all sorts of things going on. And every time we bring up that attention, mm -hmm. if that was no, when you have sound clash, you have so much rules and regulation, and you can't cause a bad order. When you say play five singing tune, you have to play five singing tune, mm -hmm. they would have lost. Because if you listen to the cassette, we stick to the rule. Of what was said. Mm -hmm. We said Garnet for Garnet. And we keep on a pull out Garnet, 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 Crazy. Garnet, Garnet. Yo, more still mm -hmm. did in a place where they put Leroy Smart back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be silk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But I, as I say, like, me know the audience. I was there. Mm -hmm. I see the crowd. I see the crowd reaction. At the end of the night, it was always a split decision. Everybody was saying, yo, four by four win. Some people say bodyguard win. Some people say be so they say win. Everyone had their own opinion. Mm -hmm. You understand? So at the end of the day, if I can't be a clear winner, don't worry. Me circle for your job. Can I be a clear winner? If it's not a knockout, then ooh, what a sense. 
Yeah. You understand? No, that was that was a big, big that for I mean, to this day, people talk about that garnet for garnet part there. That, to this day. That was what King Addis base Odyssey and four by four dance was supposed to represent. Mm-hmm. That Bontifest, mm-hmm. you would have heard some Bonte killer where probably some of them have never been played up to two dead day. Because we had so many. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> we loaded and rid him till at one point we had 37 Bonte killer and one rhythm. What? What rhythm was that, boss? Brother. <laughs> <laughs> If I pull out the sick rhythm with Bunty Killer for you, I can play half an hour with a sick rhythm. Just Bunty Killer. That's insane. Nothing else. Just Bunty. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I have two more dances before we get to this Bunty. Because that Bunty part is so crazy, we need to get it. But there's two more dances I want yeah. to talk to you about. Four by four and Jaro. Oh, the whole nemesis, man. <laughs> At one point, we were the only sound that take a dance with Jaro this week mm-hmm. and play them next week again and the next week after that. Mm-hmm. Because we all know Jaro and Roly. Mm-hmm. And Jaro fans them and Roly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about them and Roly. Mm-hmm. But, okay. Um, with Jaro, dances that I can remember. Mm-hmm. I remember the night before, before Chupa got play King of These. Remember when they play King of These at Portmore Entertainment mm-hmm. Center? We play my Trelawney. Okay. I play my chiller on it before that. Mm-hmm. That's when he had problem with the amps and burn up. Yes, that dance there. Yes. Yes. That problem with the... Uh, uh. Now, Chupa, being Ricky Chupa, will never tell a human being saying lose a clash unless mm-hmm. him never win a trophy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as long... Listen, you see, as long as there was no trophy on the table for carry home, mm-hmm. even when trophy did it, mm-hmm. he will still find a way to tell us saying win a dance. But mm-hmm. Chupa, if Chupa for speak the truth right now, Chupa lose that dance. He lost that one there? Yeah, was man. that the one where he, they were having problems with Jaro and, and then he came. And he came four by four to this. Yeah, man. And we gave him a sound for play. We never have no problem with that because you need Ricky Chupa. Mm-hmm. Pancho go stop you. And you give Pancho four by four career. So me not go stop you. We can not go stop you. Does not stop you. On that cassette, the how a lot of people have it, a lot of people think Jaro won that dancer, you know, boss. No. I'm going to tell you why Jaro lose the dance. That dance was set up by the promoter for be juggling till juggling till three o'clock. Mm-hmm. Juggling till three o'clock. Because they want the bar to sell and then the war broke out later. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They want the war for going for about two to three hours. Mm-hmm. Nothing longer than that. Mm-hmm. Super never know we had killer just vice when the at works with him. Can I say it on camera? Your body man boss send you, me ready for hang you. Why you make me Christmas carol offend you, yo? <laughs> Killer just buys the dub, I swear. Brother, I don't have I don't have another song on that dub plate that I play. Like, no, <laughs> like seriously, like, yeah. might as well me, me just draw a knife over the other three song for it because it up on a jamming plate. And mm-hmm. it are the, it, it are the only song on that plate to me, wherever ever makes sense. I don't even look on the rest of the song. I can't even remember mm-hmm. another song that was on it. We just know so Bunty do one song. Because mm-hmm. Bunty had to just give it that song. Because that was like the only song we never have in the collection at the time. Okay. And we get that song right before that dance. Mm-hmm. And in the early part of the juggling, because the promoter come and announce, yo, juggling until 3 o'clock. Mr. Wicked, wipe out the beanie man. Wipe out the beanie man. Mm-hmm. We are left him with the one that we want left him with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we did yeah. exactly that. We wipe out the beanie man, them, leave him with the one that we want left him with. Mm-hmm. The one bounty killer we did off on the taxi with him, we played, we played so early. As soon as the place pack up with people, we just play it. We don't even handshake it. We don't even say nothing. We just, we just, we just play it. We just say, yo, we'll get rid of that. We could get rid of that because I only want to have an airbox. Mm. When the dance reach about six, six, six-ish, them time then, 
me mind pull out him beanie and him pull out and him play it and him hype mm. up and him jump up and right it. And me always a making send up an ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Send the road to someone that made that trouble and say, yo, mm-hmm. excess in a way out of here yet. And I give a beer to me where I give and sit that. Yo, mm-hmm. send it done play. We didn't even bother try to play like a full round. Mm-hmm. Cause we see the audience and see say, yo, this is end right now. Mm-hmm. We just go at the bounty. Right away. After you hear 4x4, boom, <laughs> Brother, mm-hmm. the whole place started up and men by people and I know it, you know. Mm-hmm. So we left it now. I will mm-hmm. mock him and say, yo, them pretend for burn up them sound. Mm-hmm. If you come spy over your son, <laughs> if you come see what we have over your son and sitting, but you don't know what go on. Mm-hmm. Your body man boss send you. We ready for hang you. Why you moving on, bro? Yeah. The forward. Niam kick down the fence, run up and down, just got crazy, got mad type of forward, like the whole place erupt. Hmm. From that, everything we play after that just get forward. Like, we get a, what we call unexpected forward. Like, you just play some song where you just normally play, you just get a normal rock and all of a sudden you get big dance, man, and you say, yo, I want one. Hmm. In my family, don't you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> So but, you would say Trooper took that dance. Uh, four by four took that dance. I would say we took that dance. From beginning, mm-hmm. from beginning, we are juggling and we are going good. The, the dance, we are going good in the dance, everything. And when the dance end, throughout the class, throughout the round for round, mm-hmm. it was always neck and neck. Because uh, uh, Kilimanjaro we are talking about. Mm-hmm. We never get an easy clash from Kilimanjaro. That never will happen mm-hmm. ever in history. You understand? So we knew it was always going to be a battle. And this was the night before the... Night before. The Addis dance. I think the night before Addis dance. That's wild. Yeah. When would you say Trooper, okay, Trooper took this one here? You take this one, Trooper. No, man, Trooper took... Um, which dance Trooper took away from me now? Yeah, we, uh, we, do, we hoping at the hills one night where Wally Pashat was up in at the party. Mm-hmm. What he pass shot fire up in the party so till police curfew the party. Two for the half the dance and a full control. Mm-hmm. Full control the night there. The night the two had way, me a wicked, I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think, okay, oh we can oh we can get back them people up our side. Mm-hmm. You understand what I say? Cause even though even though legal legal of fire and you see me and we are get, he might get, we are get. Ima get. Mm-hmm. It's like a competition in the, in, in the event. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But guess what going on? Mm-hmm. We are fighting for our own them. Mm-hmm. Free morning seems to have come very easy. Like him and I just can't find the reason. But yeah. and we are and we are digging our box to try to find anything them and a hype of a song them to the greatest hype. Mm-hmm. He have the dance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some dance, him win some dance and me can't tell you all of them, to be mm-hmm. honest, brother. Me yeah. not remember mm-hmm. all of them. We had them play so so much time. But mm-hmm. BS and SNF are between us so much dance as people think. Okay. Let me make that clear. Mm-hmm. BS or Desi never be between as much dance as people think. We beat BS or Desi at Bermuda. Mm-hmm. What BS or Desi at Bermuda? And beat them. Well, Lenny, Lenny, in the dance, Lenny say, Lenny say, the next person take up a mic. Mm-hmm. Eat woman. Niam woman. One bag of sit now. Mm-hmm. Put up your microphone. No. What Lenny never al- a- analyze is that we are playing in a place where we can't take five step or three jump. And reach the next part of the room. Mm. <laughs> Never need a microphone, General. Mm-hmm. I turn around and look for Wicked and be like, Wicked, how oh, small is the venue, brother? Mm-hmm. Do we need a microphone for talking to brother? Wicked has said, No, it's a little place. I said, Okay, don't no worry yourself. We don't need a microphone. We don't use a microphone. Sykes, yeah. All we do is just make Wicked. If Wicked attack, he just stand up over there. Stand up in front of the sound. 
and me play so it tune for you so me just turn it down. Anytime you're ready, for your volume go up, you just go so. And we just go zoom and bring down your volume. And we know what volume set. So we know set I got one. Mm -hmm. Every time you pull it, you got one so that you can talk and everybody can hear you. And we do that. In try make every excuse in our world. When Lenny come back and take up your mic, in try make every excuse in our world. <laughs> I swear to God, like, in, yeah. when none of them not work, in just give up and just play it around. Then get beaten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Orakabesa too. Mm -hmm. Hold them Orakabesa, but at the time when we hold them Orakabesa, they must send, then send about three inexperienced selector. Okay. Because Glamour G, they must have gone for it. I remember when I selected them, say, but he said something about my house. He said something about my house, like he must say something about my house. And I don't know where the idea come from in my mind. I said, brother, you live on a river bank. Give me a piece of your house, they fall in a river. Why you talk about house, brother? Yo, mm. <laughs> some man run from the back of the venue, yeah. run, come up, run, come up, I saw it because she had me. <laughs> That's done. I never have to do nothing more than I dance. It's like, as I say, once you set that tempo, there is like a people and just say, yo, I, I, you have that race and all. Just finish it. Just, just finish it. Just ride that wave. Just ride, ride that wave end. and just finish it. And mm -hmm. that's what we do. Them never be between as much crash as people think. If you guys clash 10 times, how much would you say you guys took opposed to how much they took? Base of this, eh? Mm -hmm. Base of this, you get about four out of six. Out of ten. Yeah. And, we get, and we get six of them. Because, first of all, Bermuda them lose. Mm -hmm. A rock a best of them lose the clash. Okay. I could give them victory now. Portmore, them win the clash. Mm -hmm. They must win a clash when they are foreign and me never did. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Steer town, them lose the clash. I don't remember no other clash when me and them clash up. Mm -hmm. But them clash, see, I personally remember. And as you can see from my code, I give them the one a foreign. Mm -hmm. Because they end up with wicked alone with Mose Dos. Mm -hmm. And me give them the one a port more. Them execute them game plan perfectly that night. Mm -hmm. You understand? I may have to respect them for that. You understand? And we went in there with no plan. Because the plan I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm the person yeah. who made the plan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prove it to you. Before you even ask about any other song. Mm -hmm. The first time we play King of these of Canada. This is where I wanted to go. Let's go into this Addies here. Yes, we're Let's go, go into Addies Let's go. collection now. Yeah. Let's go. First time we play Addies of Canada. Mm -hmm. I sit down on the plane. Mm -hmm. Before me even go up on the plane, I first time I get visa. Okay. To come to Canada. Canada. Yeah. Sit down in the embassy and I sit down <clears> from across the lady. And the lady says, so, so why do they need you to go to Canada? Mm -hmm. I look on the street and I say, listen. If them want four by four Exodus to kill Addis, mm -hmm. and then me stop, come me say, when she hear the word kill, I high them. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. let me explain what kill is. Sound clash is a competition between two sounds, mm -hmm. and you have to outplay the other sound with songs and with speeches. So we just break it down and call it kill. Mm -hmm. Say so if they want four by four to kill King Addis, I have to be there. I need to be on that flight. Mm -hmm. I need to be in Canada. And she looked at me and be like, you serious? Mm -hmm. You're confident though. And be like, I am who I am. I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because as I say, at that time, like, the adrenaline. Plus, remember, I'm a first flight. You imagine the excitement? You're ready to go. First time to go overseas. Go prove the skill where you approve a Jamaica all this time. Mm -hmm. Blood in my eye. I'm ready, like right now. Right now. <laughs> May we can sit down for the flight. I will sit down, sit down for the flight and believe it or not. Then bring all food, come and give me a card. Then they use to feed people for mm. playing. <laughs> 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 then I do it no more. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Like, sit down with Wicked and have like a, um, a mm -hmm. paper bag, a like a brown like a paper bag. Mm -hmm of them after and we start write down so first we write down on the paper we write down on the paper we say ideas we underline it and we write down the first thing we can me, me know about Addis the first thing we know about Addis is then don't like to play 45 mm -hmm. okay 
I circle that. So I know that's a big point, right? This so. I say, okay. They have a lot of killer. Second big point. Okay. Put that down. So, mm. Have a couple bad shabba. All right. So it's like, me a match out them strength. You understand? And then I go say, whoop, I'm going to put down, okay. Great foundation collection. Great foundation. You notice the word they use. Mm -hmm. Great. Me not put good in you know? mm -hmm. Great. Say, great foundation collection. Mm -hmm. So here I go now. Deal with wicked now. I say, yo. I have a match out a plan for them boy, you know. Them boy, you know, just go in and just go play, you know. Mm -hmm. First thing me and Wicked come up with is reach a venue first. First reach, first play. Rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> Lay the groundwork from jump. Yes. First reach, mm -hmm. first play. All right. So we say, all right then. So if we reach first at the venue, me link my cousin. Not even my cousin. Me, People say I'm a cousin, but I really am a brother in law. Yeah. But though we look alike, you understand? I'm mean, gonna try to correct people sometimes, mm -hmm. but just make them run with what they have in mind. You mm -hmm. understand? So we say, yo, Duran. Duran live in Canada. We mm -hmm. said, Duran, then you forward, Duran. So this dancer, want to reach this dancer from early. You understand? So you know, say, if a dancer starts at 11 o'clock, I mm -hmm. want to do the front 10. 9.30. Me no mind the earlier I drink some alcohol and I talk to some people. I even sit down out of the way I care. Me mm -hmm. no care. As long as me did the first. Durant say, yo, no worry yourself. Pick you up early. You understand? I say, yes. First victory that for we, you know, because right there, so we know what are these. They're mm -hmm. too high. They're not thinking about reaching early. You understand? Okay. So, reach at the dance. Early. Reach at the dance close to 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So in the reach, we make sure we go put them with the box so everybody see them. Everybody see them and we make sure we so just like, we go put them on table and mm -hmm. rare, 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 we just put them. Everybody knows so we did it. Mm -hmm. We reach first. Then they know and next game plan for the night was you see the first round? Why put them on to them? Why them out? Like don't even think for say you got juggle yeah. bounty and one other artist, two other artists, three other artists, four other artists. Let's forget about all of that right you now. Line them up. Yeah. Just line up my bounty them. And that would do. Brother. Me not remember the numbers. Mm -hmm. But some people have it close to 50 odd. Some, pe some people have some mad numbers out there as the bounty will play. Okay. How crazy the dance was, mm -hmm. shut a fire and I dance, and we don't know such shut a fire to the mm -hmm. amount of forward we are get for the bounty them. Yeah. Me mean them a fire shot. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We don't have no idea because the roar in the building so loud that we not hear a thing. Brother. Mm -hmm. And we me mean we got you, we got you. You said Mataran come in car, the thing was Mataran alone came. Yeah, it wasn't face. Face wasn't traveling face to was Canada at that time there. Face was a traveling. But the thing is, if we had gotten that information, mm -hmm. we would be thinking different. Got you. But then when we not see baby face now, we'll be like, huh? No baby face. Mataran alone, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. At that point, we know some Mataran can't juggle. At that point. Mm -hmm. After that, development happened. But at that time, we know some Mataran not really play a tune. Mm -hmm. Him are really the man who the most of the talking. You understand? I remember I start with the a cappella. I don't know <clears> if I want Shabba a cappella. And the people then start boo or something. People then start it. So I say, yo, play already. I think he, and then he play on Bounty. Play already. He play about five songs before him actually get to a song. Mm -hmm. When I play yet. Hmm. He making speech them, and every time he making speech them, we counteract him. But you know what get to him now? See, first round when you play a whole dub, second round you barely play any dub. Because there was no rule. Yeah, at that time there was a, it was just win. Whatever it takes, just win. There was no rule. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Because there was no rule and we know Safin Foundation back strong, mm -hmm. we'd have to use the strongest foundation there was. And the strongest foundation there was was always 45s. Mm -hmm. Always will be the strongest mm -hmm. foundation. <laughs> So when we start, you believe you are tough, and start drop them song there in the party. 
Brother, mm -hmm. the whole place, you know the class, yo, the whole place. I go and body, you know Canada love all tune. You live in Canada. Of course. You know how oh, Canada Canada prize them all too. When you go down that lane there of this wap, 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 wap. wap. So that around there is like, mm -hmm. like we flash shoot around there. And then come in and then come start up all the fire defies and mm -hmm. uh, the and start play some foundation now. But by that time, mm -hmm. we already have the people them. We already give them the best of foundation. In our mind, we already give them the best of foundation. In the 45s. At least, in the 45 them. Mm -hmm. Who could have find? You understand what I say? And that just... By the time him play, believe it or not, I don't even remember my Taran round. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember him round. Because it was non-eventful. Most of in a Mataran round that was good about it because I never mean, tell us it was all negative. Because mm -hmm. a Mataran we are talking about. Of course. <laughs> Imagine why that mm -hmm. him bad. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> See, most of him do was in try to talk him with you tight. In try to use speeches. In a every situation, forgetting we out tight because he realized he's juggling in a work for him because I'm alone versus the two away. Now, when you play against Wicked and Pancho, and Pancho and Wicked, whichever way you want to put it, just mm -hmm. remember one thing. Mm -hmm. If Wicked feel like he want a break from talking, him no have to even say the word twice. All he have to do is say, yo, you're up next. You understand? And if me, if me need a break from playing song, all me have to say to him, I say, yo, come juggle some song. Hmm. So that team was just like, yeah. And both of we know the box, like, like we're hand back. So it's like, yo, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, that I juggling. That I juggling when me depend. That I juggling when me did all go to. And he just say, okay, all right. After the card, right. All right, good to go. All right. Gone. Gone. So we had that, we had that connection right there. That was the great thing. So when it comes to that, at these dance, Mataran can talk all they want. Uh, whoever feel like they love Addis and rate Addis, because that's how most people talk about. Most people talk uh, like them rate mm -hmm. because they rate somebody. But me consider like sound clash like a sport. If you lose, you lose. It no matter how much me rate you and you are my, you are my sound. Yo, mm -hmm. if you lose, you lose. Because the score, mm -hmm. when the score final tally come in, you're not know, victorious. Mm -hmm. You understand? Them lose a clash then. How many times did you guys actually clash? I think we clashed at this about three times. How one many of them day. were you? Okay, you were one. only at that one there. Only that one. So you weren't in the Biltmore. No. And you weren't at the one in Jamaica. No. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's where you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you know. I'm going to share something with you. Eh? I'm not really share. Okay. I'm not really share. Uh, probably only my mother. Only my mother and... Probably only my mother, no. There was a point when I went through serious depression. Okay. I'm not talking about you feel sad. You just feel sad because sad things happen. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about great things happen. I'm good. Everything nice. Bills paid. Everything good. Mm -hmm. Depressed. Sad. Need to get away from the world. Hmm. I was depressed at a point till my hair... Like there was spots, there was bad spots. <laughs> yeah. That was how bad it was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what was happening until I actually went to go see a doctor, doctor, and doctor explained to me that, yeah, all of these things can happen because you're stressed out, because you're depressed. Mm -hmm. So, some of the time when dust get to my head and it stressed me out, I mean, I just walk away. I just walk away and probably lock myself in the house for one, three days and just stay away from people for a while so till I get back my meds and my meds get back right and then I touch the road. Mm -hmm. So, Wicked knew the type of person I was. So, whenever me a Wicked a link, him try to keep things a certain way, you know. We keep things transparency, everything we understand each other. So if me now go somewhere or me no feel me no feel like me need to go or me no feel like my wife for go me tell him straight up, so brother. One of them time you know, me just don't feel like we do not travel right you now, brother. Mm -hmm. You understand? Me just feel like me need to kick back and kinda refocus, find out my balance, my earth, you see me. You understand? And but I went through that. 
Mm-hmm. The good thing about it, them always say either going through something or about to go through something. Mm-hmm. Or I just come or out went through something. I went yeah. through mm-hmm. something. You understand? Mm-hmm. But I was facing depression without understanding what it was. I would I would be on top of the world like everything good happening. Mm-hmm. And like just deep down inside of me, I just want to get away from everything and everybody. And do you think it probably presented itself more because you're in a competitive sport where it's like you always got to be on your toes? It's not like just juggling where, yeah, you got to be nice, but a clash, you could lose tonight and that's the end of you. All right. <coughs> I can tell you all that impacted my life. I could not tell then, mm-hmm. but I could tell, I can tell now because mm-hmm. I've grown, so we analyze things and realize what is you understand i don't like to take things personal Got and you. i don't like even when i'm clashing if you listen to me on any cassette or any tape i'm not trying to say anything personal about the selector about his mother and sister anything like that if him says something i probably answer him back in a way that sound personal mm-hmm. but i don't try to be that way towards per people in general. It's I, more offense you're playing. Yes. I love to clash, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I love it. Like, because I love the I love the challenge. I love the challenge. I love the aggressive nature. I mm-hmm. love the adrenaline rush mm-hmm. that I get. But I never could take things to that personal level where, you know, it get mm-hmm. to a point where more and tell you, boy, you're mad on. More and tell us some really dirty thing. Like, I just, that was just not my personality. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, I guess in that sense, at times, that's where I battle with myself. Because I have to remind myself that, yo, you're in a competitive environment. And if these guys are pushing it to this level, if you don't push it to this level, you are going to be the one to fall behind. Mm-hmm. You understand? And it's up to you. You have to make that choice. Mm-hmm. And the choice that I had to make personally is the example that I want to set being a father. Okay. You understand? It was nice getting paid. And it was nice traveling all over the world. And everybody I love you and all of that. But guess what go on? At the end of the day, I always wanted to be a father. And mm-hmm. I always wanted to be an example. So then I have to look at myself and be like, okay, me will continue this environment. Then when me youth them I go actually, you understand? Mm-hmm. I go hear about them father always a war with people, always a say certain things, always a be a certain way and believe like, okay, yo, my father do it, so me can't do it and he can't tell me nothing because I this him do. And I wanted to be a good example. Got you. I wanted that. Like I really truly wanted that. Like I was hungry. I was hungry when I wanted to, when my son came to this world. I was hungry for success. Yeah. But then after a while, I got hungry for just to be a good father, like mm-hmm. just to be a good example. They say a lot of times it's like you're busy making a living that you don't get a chance to actually make a life. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. And that's exactly, that's exactly what was happening. Mm-hmm. So at that time, you decided to take a break from 4x4 for a while. Take a time. Take Mm -hmm. a time off. Mm -hmm. You understand? And it was always stressing because it's not... 4x4 wasn't stressing because of the sound that we were playing against. To Mm -hmm. be honest, it was more stressing because as much as I respect Dust for everything that he has done for us, sometimes the most damage that has been done to both Wicked and myself, reputation as selectors, came from him. Mm -hmm. You understand? Why would you say that? Okay. Because when Dust belittle us Mm -hmm. with everybody else, you may have run with a board of punchy yam and the board of either selector. When you belittle us, even with the other sound man them, or the other sound man them hear stuff like that, Mm -hmm. then if you as the owner doesn't have confidence in a year selectors them, the one where different your sound, night in, night out. You understand? You are the damage to us. You understand what I say? And at the end of the day, I don't care who want hear me speak and then think, okay, yeah, um, feelings or any shit like that. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, how I look at life is, okay? 
if you're a part of a team, you're a part of a team. Your job is to keep this team as solid together as possible. For sure. Your job is not to go out there to belittle these the, the people and your team and try to put them down and make them look like nobody. You understand what I say? And then it get to a point where boxman get lick. Boxman get lick and sitting in box on boxman and something and then it reach a road say, yo, selector get beaten. Then now that become another thing now. Everywhere you go go play so now somebody a talk about yo dust beat and all right it. No, when I say dust beat me now, it's like you it's like you trigger something in my brain now because now me know say this is something where dust couldn't do any in my life. Mm -hmm. You can try it, mm -hmm. but the outcome just not go normal because me not go give it up. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give it up, so there will be no end. You understand? Everybody know my street, my street cred. You get me? So, and then that now start go against us and stuff like that. So, whenever, whenever I do things like that, mm -hmm. it reflects negatively on us. And guess what? I don't think he actually realized at that time that everything that reflected negatively and Pancho and Wicked reflect negatively on four by four. Mm -hmm. And then it reflect negatively on you. Yeah. So it's like it's a boomerang thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand what I say. I mean, I think he realized that. It's just one of those things where, because Dust was one of those people where, when you heard about bad man boss at those times there, Dust's name was at probably number one yep. to number two. Yep. It was always... That's one boss that you know, okay, this is one boss that you don't really call his name in the dance. You don't really play with that side. Yeah. You just leave this man alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what we're seeing from the outside. Two questions before we even come out of this four by four situation. One is going to actually lead to the next. When it came to Bounty Killer, okay, <laughs> who was the original Bounty Killer sound in Jamaica? Four by four Exodus. Why would you give it to 4x4 over Super D? Okay. First of all, to be Bunty Killer Sound, mm -hmm. you got to rep for Bunty. Okay. We rep for Bunty Killer so much that Beanie wouldn't give us dub. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. be honest there. Yeah. Like there was artists there that found, that, that think in their mind, or thought in their mind at the time that, yo, I be a Bunty them play. Mm hmm so when time them come and they want to play it, we were tough up on them. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we, we suffer, brother. Brother, we suffer. Because when it comes to, when it comes to represent Bounty Killer, mm -hmm. we never represent Bounty Killer while representing a nation or other artists. Bounty Killer was at the forefront of what we do. Okay. So when time we are cut with dubs them, yeah, we cut a whole heap of singing tune, we try to get a combination with Bounty Killer. Every other DJ, mm -hmm. we cut them, Bounty Killer Depp on the rhythm too. You understand what I say? Meanwhile, every other DJ in the Depp, every other rhythm, Bounty Killer Depp on all that rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> and we make sure right. we search the box and see, yo, yo, we, you know, so when I'm a Bounty Pan, I can't catch mm -hmm. could get some Bounty Pan already, man. Mm -hmm. So it's like we rep Bounty. Having Bounty Killer and being Bounty Killer sound, mm -hmm. it's two different things. Yeah. So would you say the first one to really jump out? from Jamaica would have been super deep, but then you guys took it to a higher level? A higher level, because okay. we had to respect the super D. Mm -hmm. They were that they they did great work. Mm -hmm. For killer just same way. You understand what I say? Mm -hmm. But when we when we take up when we take up the task, you understand, of representing for killer, mm -hmm. we now start clash everybody in our world. I use killer as we DJ where I kill. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? At that time, Super D never took up the clash and I kill off nobody in our world. Mm -hmm. So let, let's just be honest. Super D did a play, but how much, how much front line war dance were they getting where they had to be in the limelight to represent for Bounty Killer. I use Bounty Killer dub. I try to kill so 19, 90. Mm -hmm. We have people who not like us just because of our association with Bounty Killer. I could, from how you explained it, I could understand what you mean. That's why I asked you, okay, Super D, they jumped out first. Okay, they went with it first. But who put on the S on their back and said, yo, we're running yeah. with this man here? We're Killer Sound. 
That's four by four. Them know that one, day one. Mm -hmm. We never have an accent, nobody no question with us, no say you're born to kill our DJ. Mm -hmm. Right now, if we have 35 Bujo Bantan, we could triple that mm -hmm. for, Bo for Bunty. Yeah, because originally, again, now good thing you said that originally, you guys were playing a lot of Bojo, Bojo Wayne Wonder at yeah. first. We have Bojo too. Spraga, um, Cabra. Yeah, man. And I mean, and then the Bunty came in, and then when the Bunty came in, you were still putting on the Spraga, the Cabras, the Bojo. Same way. Till you had the Bojo and Bounty combo and yeah. all of these stuff here. Yeah. This is where we are now. How did that relationship come up with Bounty in the first place? And I need to hear the story about this truck. <laughs> this, everybody spoke about this truck, but we've never really heard about this truck. Please take your time and tell me about this truck and okay. how you guys built that relationship. All right. Before we get to the truck, mm -hmm. um, when it comes to Bujo Bantan, Bujo Bantan was first, like mm -hmm. four by four, first DG. Mm -hmm. You understand? So... Bujo Bantan will always be, like, always be, like, one of our top 10 artists we are. We know, we know, God clash with out because some Bujo Bantan. Mm -hmm. That never in a question. Mm -hmm. Kepa Tanto. A lot of people don't even know that. Okay. You understand? We have a lot of Kepa Tanto. Mm -hmm. You understand? We say, we cut a lot of different artists. Cabra, Cabra, bad man DJ. Mm -hmm. We are war sound. It's probably a bad man DJ. We are war sound. So the connection not hard. The connection not hard. <laughs> just made sense. And God rest in peace to Paned. Paned was one of our artists too. Okay. Enough people not even know that. Paned was one of our artists. Mm -hmm. When we kill, when we kill, when we kill Jam Rap, mm -hmm. a Paned write him off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A Paned make um, Chulups cry. Mm -hmm. Crying at us. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that's for sure you like there was a, a set of artists. You see, here what happened. There were some artists who, because of egotistical mm -hmm. behavior, felt that our effort with Bunty Killer was too much. Got you. You understand what I'm saying? And you know ego always play a role when it comes to males. Like see you see. You understand? But they wouldn't understand that, okay, we build we build a war machine. Mm -hmm. The thing is, that was a choice where Dust make him choice and says a war machine in my bill. Mm -hmm. We took the job. We decide that, okay, all right, we need to have an artist where the artist there does warrior. Mm -hmm. You understand? Bunty Killer was the bad man artist at the time. Mm -hmm. What we gonna do? Mm -hmm. This is the boss. This is the general. <laughs> it makes it only makes sense. It only makes sense to connect with self right there, so mm -hmm. you understand. And from we make that connection, that connection does it just keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. So when you got to the song, was the link with Bounty there already, or that's when you guys connected after you got to the song? I think the link, the link was there. The link was there, but we weren't. We weren't so fully loaded. Got you. We weren't so fully loaded. Mm -hmm. It's when we start load rhythm now. Mm -hmm. That's something where a lot of sound never used to do. Mm -hmm. Let's clarify that. That a lot of people don't want to give us give us any props mm -hmm. for some of the stuff that we did in other business. No sound never load rhythm. If you get if you get four bun to killer. You want one pan rhythm, and one pan rhythm, and one pan rhythm, and one pan rhythm. So you can mix it with you, you 45 can, You can, and you can spread it all over the place. No. Mm -hmm. Killer. Mm -hmm. Sick rhythm. Fortune. <laughs> Call it a D. <laughs> Engineer, you're not even have to change the rhythm. Mm -hmm. We all good. Just make killer do the entry and drop a rhythm. And we're mm -hmm. good to go. You understand? Mm -hmm. So killer was our DJ, and at the end of the day, we face a lot of backlash street. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say negative. Because, yo, who them should have played this and I played that and I played that. Yeah, but we play everybody. Anyone that can tell me to my face mm -hmm. that we never play, we never play Louis Culture, we never play Terror Fabulous, we never play them artists. No, nah, man, brother, we play Frisco Kid them, we play, we play Simpleton, we play Baby Wayne. We play every artist there is. Every artist we play. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, because we were known as a bounty sound, 
We could play 10 songs inside like the whole audience are wait for the era. Which bone to know up on that rhythm, man? No. I bone to them are wait for yeah. <laughs> And it's just that the expectation was always there for the ear, which bone to we have for the rhythm. Every time we go and crash, people are think, yo, we set a bone to them are coming with tonight. They mo- me know them go cut a new set of bounty. Mm-hmm. So when BSO so they see them go take up duck rhythm and start cut panic, then just cut exactly the dubs them we have panic. Them just cut them and come play them. Mm-hmm. Because them know we already made those anthems in the dance hall. So there's no way you can change that. You can't change the national anthem of the country. Mm-hmm. It not change. Remain the same. Dead this time and duck with him like a combination where you can't stop a, a bigger than Grammy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see me? So that's the way it is. Mm-hmm. I said a truck now. Yes, I need to. Okay. Was it really a truck or people are exaggerating? Or? No, it was a truck. It was. What kind of truck was it? Uh, a dumper truck. One of the Big Mac. Big Mac truck. Okay, in my mind, when I heard truck, I thought it was like a little pickup truck or something um, like. It was a, it was a big truck. It was okay, a big truck. please explain this to me because this has this is quite possibly the craziest thing I've ever heard uh-huh. associated well, uh, for, with dub plates. First of all, mm-hmm. I need to know what you know. All I know is that one day four by four went and go link Bunty with some truck. And that was the end of that. But I just knew that for dub plates, truck, Bounty Killer, four just by four. Just sound like a. Yeah. That doesn't sound like an arrangement where really in a dance hall, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but we are talking about mm. Killer still, the king mm. of Kingston. Mm-hmm. We are talking about the boss himself, the general. Yeah, that's all. But here what happened now? Here what happened now with that Chuck situation? The explanation mm-hmm. is with dust. Mm-hmm. But I can only give you what he said to us. Fair enough. Okay. At that time, dub plate was like 10,000, 15,000, within that range. Mm-hmm. The truck was roughly about a mil, right? Mm-hmm. He made arrangement with Bunty. That's what he was telling us. He, he told us, right? He made arrangement with Bunty to pay him up to the 800. Spend okay. some time and pay him up to the 800,000. Mm-hmm. But the other 200,000, when you feel like you're going to collect it, just go collect it in a dub plate. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that 200,000 dollars there, a dub plate money. Leave that with the DJ. Mm-hmm. Pick up a dub when you're ready. <laughs> and was it, how long did that situation actually last for? Was it like, okay, you got unlimited for the next three years, one year, six months? Uh, Boss, I don't know. I just know that at one point we get 12 bounty killer. We get 12 bounty killer. And uh, mm-hmm. we, I know that, like, finish the studio, finish finish the studio session. Mm-hmm. Next day, I had to go back. Lyrics have to finish up for Vice Dub. Mm-hmm. So the song have to finish, <laughs> finish right. Vice Dub. <laughs> Crazy boss. And that yeah. was that when you guys bonky really went out of control or you guys were hammering it from before the truck? We were hammered before the truck. Before the truck. The truck like, was just icing on top the of the truck. Was was honestly, honestly, the truck does kinda gave us some exclusive like some exclusive bounty mm-hmm. and exclusive rights mm-hmm. to some future bounty that was going to be written. <laughs> That's what it was all about. Like that mm-hmm. was that was just it. Yeah. From our explanation, that was it. And I think we got a couple dub belt. I I can't tell you if mm-hmm. we got all of it, but we got a couple. Yeah, no, that was that story there is the craziest story we've ever heard about yeah. dub plates. Yeah, you heard people carry crazy money and all of this, Bro, but you've never heard anybody take up a listen, vehicle and give it to someone. Listen, the only reason why you hear about that mm-hmm. is because we had someone that likes to talk about everything they do. Okay. Let's make that clear. Mm-hmm. Because they, they are sound man in this business with clear car mm-hmm. for artists, buy cars are foreign and ship for artists. They do all sorts of things. 
I don't nothing for that far and buy a Rolex and send go get an artist. Send him a brand new Rolex and say, yo, mm-hmm. more want too special. And he does value about the Rolex in a double plate. Send him come gear. Mm-hmm. And all the time you got have money. And you know how the hustle in the game say. A man use where he have, forget where he want. Yeah. The rule of the game, use where he have, forget where you want. Does that know you seem chuck? Yeah. So probably does just feel like, okay, I need some money. Let me get some money and get some dumb play on top of it. Crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Crazy 4x4 four four and everything. When did 4x4 four four slow down and why did they slow down? And then what was your next move after 4x4? Four four? All right. Um, those had pending cases in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So those was always an on-the-move type of individual. You understand? Um mm-hmm. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to even discuss his situation. You understand? So I'll just not not try to divulge in too much details. Fair enough. Okay, but like, those knew he had to move. An incident took place where Dust realized that it was just time. It was time for him to move. It was there in Jamaica. His popularity was... We are talking about father does say so. Popularity high. You understand? Everybody knew him, so he was easily recognizable. Mm-hmm. You understand? And then, you know, an incident took place where I guess he realized that it was time to leave. Mm-hmm. Leave Jamaica. And, you know? He you know, decide to leave. He leave, um, went away to England and live. Um, we went to England Probably twice. Okay. We probably went to England twice to play. Uh, we play LP and Love Injection over there. Mm-hmm. I think we play another. We play another clash over there too. Um, can't remember the sound though. Can't remember the sound. Um, but like, cause you know, anywhere, anywhere, you say, once dust land, does I think him next move. And him a thing, keep in a dance, make him sound popular because him sound I am, does sound I am prize. Okay. That, that, that's one of my biggest problem. You know, you know when they say you can love something to death? That was the issue. That was the issue. Mm-hmm. Does love him sound so much that he couldn't stand to see somebody a play it and the whole crowd now ball forward or something like that. Like to him, no, that, you don't do that. You understand? Mm-hmm. I'm a sound this. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that's the thing. So when him go to England, you know, we we travel go to England twice, you know, play to the dance him and stuff. And then we return and hear say him, him take a little break mm-hmm. and him leave the sound with somebody else. And then, lo and behold, like a couple of months after that, Wicked called me and said, yo, you know, so they rub up his sound. T fought, like he must say, who are some some people, who are some people, them get a truck and go up there and because the house is vacant and everything. So then get a truck and go up there, go up there and go move out, go move out everything out there and something, take all the stuff them out there. So it's like that's it. Mm-hmm. Right? We have to move on. What was you guys next move after that there? Well, at that point, we weren't thinking as a team. Mm-hmm. We were no individuals, right? Okay. So Wicked was doing Wicked thing. I'm doing my thing. The great part about my life is because I'm musical, I'm musical, like playing sound was never the only thing I, I did in music. You understand? So I write songs. Mm-hmm. I write songs. And then now my sister wanted to produce. Mm. So now I have time on my hand. Now I can be with her. I can manage her, be on the road with her. Now help her to produce some songs, write some songs with her, you know, build her career. Mm-hmm. So that was, that was my thing after that. You know, I started, I started doing that, you know, just working with Lady G. Mm-hmm. Just in case anybody didn't mm-hmm. know. That's my big sister, you see me? Mm-hmm. And that's where you guys came up with um, G-String Productions. Yes, and clarify, G-String is the guitar. I, 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 I think she clarified that the last time. <laughs> every time, 
Yo. <laughs> yes. uh, 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 all right, I got. And you know Good the time. funny thing with it, I wasn't until you said it. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about. But now you say, okay, I got it. Yeah. Right. It's the sound yeah. man in you, so then you have to clarify. I yeah. get it. I get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was what that was all about. That's how um, G String Records mm -hmm. um, came about, you know. And I did some writing for a couple well-known artists on it. I choose not to talk about it because I consider myself a ghostwriter. Okay. I consider myself a ghostwriter. Whatever I do when it comes to writing outside of my sister, that's that's private. You mm -hmm. understand? That's between me and the artists themselves. They, mm -hmm. they know who they are. You understand? But I did some writing um, for some artists and that, uh, plus my sister, plus produce the tracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I was the main producer. And most of those tracks, you know, stuff like that. So that's where the music was for me. It wasn't that playing sound, stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. I branch off into something different. But before you go too far, remember, I'm not even sure if you remember, you and Wicked started to play a song, Delta Force. Delta Force. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while dealing with G, while dealing with my sister and doing music, now Wicked called me one day and be like, yo, Pancho. Get the opportunity to play a sound, you know, but I don't play a sound unless you play it too. Mm -hmm. I said, Wicked, I don't really in the mood for playing a sound right you now, still, no, my mind did this right now, and I said, No, Pancho. Them people are good people. Good youth, good youth. The sound owner named Meggy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, Yeah, man, alright. Let me talk to them then. Me and them will have reason or something, man. They come link me and Make a call and me and Maggie talk on the phone and I share my vision with, with Maggie mm -hmm. just to make Maggie understand the type of person I am and the brains where me I work with right now, you understand? Me can't take the bullshit, certain things. Me don't have the time feed. I'm triggered. Me quickly move. Mm -hmm. I'm on to the next. That's how I am, you understand? So, and then be like, no, man, Pancho, we're good. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity where it's up to you and Wicked. You and Wicked just sit down, make no plans, do nothing. I'm just here to support, support and encourage and, you know. I'll be like, yeah, sound good. Yeah, so I play the sound. Clash, Chupa, Kilimanjaro. It was a good dance, but we were fighting a dance. Mm -hmm. Me and Chupa almost fight. What? Yeah, can't get personal with my girl. Yeah. And my girl never too to enjoy that. <laughs> And she start get personal and then it start get personal and then it end up got end up almost got too far. But I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. I'm a friend. So it never really reached to the point and big up to Boggy Nose, cause Boggy Nose was one of the man who step in and say, Yo, Pancho. Mm -hmm. You and Chupa are too much of too much of a friend for you. Make them things come between you know. Louder. So mm -hmm. the clash continue but the negative energy they just get pushed to the side, you see me? Mm -hmm. You understand? Um Clash couple other sound. Me never remember. Me no remember we clashing bass or this them and them sound. But me know we clash pieces them. Okay. Beat up pieces them and some other sound from down at them. Cause the sound come from Chilani. So anything but that side, you know. We and them in a, in a some tassel and some mm -hmm. man, yeah. Delta Force journey because you went through the four by fours. You did the Black Hat. You did the Bass Odyssey. Then you decided to do OK Production with you and Lady G. You're doing your stuff. So then, even like right now in a 2021, what is Pancho really up to right now? All right. Um, 2001, 2001, 2002. Mm -hmm. We were in America until about 99 left. Let with Delta Force and then left, come back to Jamaica. And some things happened to Maggie and Maggie brother start run the sound. And we never too like the direction that things was going in. And we decided mm -hmm. to make a step back from that situation. And then now, mm, just do music and decide, say, okay, 2002 mm -hmm. now, play some music, get some CD, play some party, you know, because can still play music. So we just mm -hmm. play some party, entertain some people. And then we could call me one day and say, Pancho, guess who me there with? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, man said, Vibes Cartel. And I said, huh? At that time, Vibes Cartel, no boss, boss, big yet. Got you. 
but him underground work mm-hmm. in a Portmore and Spanish town. Well be known. I mean, I say, yeah, mm-hmm. you see it like that? And the man say, yeah, man. Me and him there, man, I will have reason. I mean, I say, wicked. I have to link you. I have to link you. See? Then I go link cartel. When I go link cartel now, I never even know that cartel had strong ties and a lot of friends at De La Vega City. So now I went time, me and cartel start talking and cartel say, Pancho, where you live? I mean, I say, yo, De La Vega City and cartel. I say, yeah. Then you know Umbre, you know Umbre, you know Umbre. I say, yeah, man. Right, I ball feel less of me live, man, and a regular we play ball and right. It. And I must say, yeah, man. I'm a family, them, man. I'm a people, them, man. From Deso, mm-hmm. it was the beginning of something different. Me and Cartel just, we just click. Okay. Like, like, New Impact one up played because the sound, my sound now near New Impact. Many name it New Impact because it played anything new or anything that has ever created an impact mm. throughout the history of music. New Impact. impact. Yeah. You understand? So Makes that's sense. how I name it that way. Mm-hmm. You understand? Me, people say I should name it Punch up. I'll be like, no, I don't really need all of that. I need to create something where my son can come and play and anybody who wants to play music can just come and take it up in the future yeah. and do it. You understand? And then, Cartel Link now and every time I need dub, I mean cash money and the leading cartel sound. Leading cartel sound. And Stop I, right there one quick second. Now that you sit, I'm sitting here for the last two hours thinking, you look like somebody. <laughs> Scratchy me, man. Scratchy me, man. But Scratchy me. Now that you sit, I'm thinking, who does this man look like? Scratchy me. Continue your yeah, story. Man. Scratchy me, man. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to man. Mm-hmm. I'm good youth. You see me? All right. Say the door, say. At one point, I get so much vibes cartel that me and Scratchy B play in our party. Mm-hmm. I end up playing two cartel. Yeah. Two car- t- cartel with Scratchy B in the And I am not thinking they like mm-hmm. that at all. Yeah, he was yeah, running the cartel, cartel and then the busy after that. Yeah, cartel was cartel. Like, at that point with the sound, because as Mr. Me just I play music with New Impact. Mm-hmm. Like there's a feature or some part. I didn't even call Lady Jeep and Dub. That should show you that for me, it was just about playing music and entertaining people. Just mm-hmm. make people party and have fun. So I didn't even call Lady G. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's when Cartel start giving me the plate now. You know, I start get back a four by four feeling. I <laughs> <laughs> start get back the hunger, they know, for dub plate or something. And then me and Cartel start link now. And, you know, the crew from Dell and Cartel are linked. So a one link now says so like I end up start get woolly for Cartel. And that's how the link goes. And then Killer, Killer start give me a strength. Killer start give me strength. Um, mm. We get strength from a lot of artists. We get strength from a lot of artists. All of them names I can't remember, but to be honest, like Lucy and them, Sizzler. Mm-hmm. Sizzler, like, every time I go link Sizzler, Sizzler just give me four song. Even if me just drive, go link Sizzler and say, Dada, mm-hmm. you know me can check, me just a link you if you see what I go on, everything bless up or something, Dada say, yo, Pancho. Yo, go ahead and sue the man. Mm-hmm. Give me four dub. Keep it on. Holy for respect. You understand what I say? Like, me, I can't call a name that show me a bad face. Like, everybody, they just happy that I'm still doing music, I'm mm-hmm. still a play sound, and everybody, they just willing to give me a strength. You understand what I say? But cartel mainly. And you know, Lady G always a give me mm-hmm. fear and strength from a family perspective. You understand what I say? Mm-hmm. But outside of that, cartel and killer them, man. Yeah. Always I give me strength. Your journey in the business has been so crazy and so amazing. <laughs> Again, from you being the artist that didn't work out and selected and going through the ranks of songs and everything till you ended up here. It's like when you really sit down and think about it, it's like, boss, you put in a lot of work. But it's sometimes a lot of people in this industry that put in a work sometimes get overshadowed because if your name still isn't being called right now, then they say, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. That's why there's only five dinosaurs. But clearly there was way, way more, more people. dinosaurs. Come yeah. on. 
Because you can't call dinosaurs and don't put Lenny and Lenny and Glamour G in that category. How mm-hmm. can you? How can you do that? Yeah. You understand? You have a lot of youth them because they have youth from travelers. They have box of them. They came in and they did a lot of hard work. It may, it may be in a short space of time, mm-hmm. but do remember, it's not just about it's not just about how oh, long you do it. Sometimes I just say impact. You, you created. You remember the name of the song, New Impact, right? Yeah. It's that impact. impact that you created. Some people are here for 20 years and they do one and two, okay? Some people come in for three years, do some crazy stuff and you never hear from them again. But what they did in that three years, you will forever talk about. Forever. Bob Marley lifted them out at 36. Mm-hmm. Now that we're older men and we realize 36 is nothing, but It's nothing. We'll nothing. F- we'll fly past it and so <laughs> <laughs> So just to show you that it's the impact that they created. Because remember, mm-hmm. all these guys that consider themselves dinosaurs, they wouldn't become dinosaurs if there was no one there to stand up to them. Mm. Right? Who was in those arena with you for you to feel like, yeah, you're victorious and you get a medal and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. You understand what I say? Big up to Firelinks. 100%. 100% respect to Firelinks. If there's ever a brother we may have in a yeah. dance hall, other than wicked, yeah. it's Firelinks. Why is that? Because me and him fight. Yeah. And then finish the dance and go out the door, go by Cain. I still can't understand how we fight and just yeah. go by Cain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had that, like, Firelinks are just one of the youth that you just knew him all gear, a lot of trouble and then my at it and then we crash up and then mm-hmm. everything good after that and then yeah. we're good like yo like not never happened brother not mm-hmm. never that, that, that's a little moment now mm-hmm. man and anywhere we see each other the respect like you know how you know how some people some people quick to forget other mm-hmm. people when they feel like they they are on top of the world they feel like they rich. they feel like yo okay so me and you did I do the same sport but then you drop out and I'm the king now. So when time I see you now, yo, me just walk past you. Firelinks mm-hmm. has never gave me that impression, brother. Okay. Sometimes the way all Firelinks approach me, when when they see me and they bless me and say, yo, what go on, punch you, what go on, me general. Re-. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wonder, me I say, yo, Firelinks, you know, so you are the top man, right? You know, you are the, you are, you are the boss. Yeah. You are the one that make all that money. You are the mm-hmm. brother right mm-hmm. now where... Mm-hmm. Everybody I talk about, you understand? I know me, but the respect, mm-hmm. the respect, when I'm sure me, 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 me know, say, yo, the youth, yeah, the youth are yeah, art. Mm-hmm. The youth are yeah, art clean, and the competition where we have it was never personal. Mm-hmm. And I that me like. It was just attached to that sound that you were playing at the time, you walk away, everything You have to defend mm-hmm. the sound where you play. It's mm-hmm. not a personal thing, we just a defend the machine. Mm-hmm. You get it. I got two questions before I get you out of here. We're actually in the studio now. I do a lot of virtuals, but we're in the studio. Yeah. How did you end up in Canada? Okay, my journey to Canada is... Before I go any further, let me big up my first... I got two kings, Mm -hmm. two sons. Big up to Rush and my young son, Dante. Mm -hmm. He's the reason why I'm in Canada. Got you. Um, When my son born... 2008, two years after that, I got shot. It was a drive-by. It was a drive-by on my block. Um, God saved my life. I don't speak about it a lot. But God saved my life because for some reason I came out the house that night. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go pick up my son. And the Sunday I decided not to pick him up because I have so much housework to do. So I decided, okay, I'm going to stay home, finish what I'm doing, and stuff like that. A friend of mine by the name of Ibo Shanti mm-hmm. brought me an orange juice. I can't remember that. <laughs> About 5.30, 6 o'clock, him just bring an orange juice come here. I put it in the fridge. For some reason, I'm leaving out the house. This is about after 7, almost 8 o'clock. And I was planning Galinka girl down the road. So that would take me to the right. Mm-hmm. But as I got through the gate, one man said, go buy an orange juice down at the shop. Mm. 
So I turn now and I walk go down to the shop now. I turn and walk go down to the shop. By that time, the car come from the block, drive from the block already. Drive go up the road now. Mm -hmm. And I drive come back down now for spray you now so that them can just drive out of the scheme. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. When, like me, I walk go down to the shop of me, but, and look behind me. When me look behind me, I see one, one guy where they sit on my gate, get up and run off, and then me hear bop, bop, bop. Mm. And then I see the next guy do walk, man, one guy come out and go some pint at me, and go some bop, bop, and me go so, and then now I start, I start run, but I run towards a shop, and the shop grill did open. But when the guy hear the shop, shot him lock the <laughs> Out of panic, mm -hmm. out of panic, him mm -hmm. not think, because him see me, you know, but mm -hmm. out of panic, him not think. So it's like... He doesn't necessarily know if you're part no, of the problem. Him not know, I got. Mm -hmm. Him just lock the shop grill. Mm -hmm. So I run now and I go down to the end of the, the, end of the street, but the shot them... Uh, they might change so for a while now, so mm -hmm. I know. So like they might get close. So it's like me just for some reason the Almighty for other God does give me the give me the athletic ability for spring over a fence. Mm -hmm. Spring over a fence and go so up and grab a grill and try to open it and the grill lock. And then now me hear the shot mm -hmm. now, a driver come down now. Mm -hmm. So them driver come down and a fire shot now. So I just keep myself behind a wall and Cover my head and something, man. The mm -hmm. car pull up at the gate to me there and fire, boy. He ain't shot. The, at this time, me don't know if I get shot yet. Mm -hmm. Right? So, me get up now. One time, one time, them drive out now and everything calm down for a second. Me not hear nothing. Me go stand, me check out and then me realize, see you, then gone. And then me come out now, me say, the blood are run. Down my leg and sit now. One time, me go stand, check, me get shot in on my left foot. Mm -hmm. And me say, man. Go hospital, everything did all right and something, man. You know, do what I'm supposed to do. But at that time, I think the vision, the vision I had when I was behind mm -hmm. that wall right there, so it's like, we cover my head and I just see my little, me and my little son on a football field, a pretty green football field, I run up and down and I kick some ball. Mm -hmm. And like when I come out and I'm at the hospital and I'm laughing and, People say, why are you laughing? In my mind, I become a no say. It's like me, I said to Father God in my mind, I say, God, you know me stubborn, so you just decide for me, mm. this decision for me, right? You just try to tell me it's time for me to make a move now, right? Yeah. And so, man, after that, me just decide then, because my people always want me to travel, they always want me to come afar, and they always I say, you need to come live, you need to move. And so, me just me call my sister, me call my mother, and we had the conversation and I'd be like, okay, a time, I can take my son now and, mm -hmm. you know, and me just bring up my little son and me and him there in Canada ever since. Yeah. You know, up on the battlefield, I do a thing and he's a top soccer player, only if he take it serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they're my kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see him, I see him in, in your display with all his, everything on, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the clothes and everything. That. It's good. It's, you could tell by this conversation that when you're in the mic cussing and say, oh, yeah, the dead and all, yeah. that was just almost like a act. Because right now when you sit down and speak to you, you're a lot, your thoughts are a lot deeper than the average person you would think that's picking up a microphone and cussing. It's different, man. The meds mm -hmm. is different. And before I go, assassin, mm -hmm. Agent Sasko, mm -hmm. the strength that that kid gave me when I was building the sound, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, like, Sasko bad. Him always say, punch anything you need, just call me, man. Mm -hmm. No question, man. Just call me, man, and just tell me what you need. Yeah. That was trend, yeah. you know? Sasko My is a real, real loyal person. Yeah, man. Really. Last yeah. one I got for you because his name came up a lot. Wicked. What was the last good conversation you'd say you sat down and had with Wicked before he passed? I would say it wasn't good enough, brother. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good enough because Wicked was sick. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell me about that. You understand? I write now. Mm -hmm. Brother, can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Can't ever talk about it without tears in my eye, brother. Because we can know the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. So, like, he, he was sick a couple of months before when he dropped down and he dropped down and ended up in the hospital and came back out, you know? And doctor tell him, say, he need... I need for exercise, I need for eat better, I need for 
watch the habits and we have the drinking, anything we might do, you understand? Cut mm -hmm. off of some of these things, you understand? I didn't know that until Wicked passed away. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. But Wicked know, if I know those things, Wicked know me a mad at him, he know me a cuss, he know mm -hmm. me a go on bad. So I make sure he never tell me send the job in the job down in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So when I talk to him, he's all oh, sponge everything good man. But just day I try to take care of my daughter, the man. Just, and, and just I go and see if we can go and make some money. And we used to always talk about see if we can reason with us mm -hmm. and get back the dub them and at least play some some memo memorial clash. Yeah, some vintage type of because clashes. At one point at one point we were even talking about Recreating, mm -hmm. recreating, be so they say, be so they say, four by four, king of these. Okay. We were talking about recreating those dances. You understand mm -hmm. what I say? Just, just get some money together and just book this song, and it's nothing serious. It's nothing serious. So just come together, and it's all about dub what yeah. could have been. Mm -hmm. Cause that's that's the thing. It was a what could have been. Mm -hmm. Bunty face off. Rare, rare. Mm -hmm. All of these things came to mind. So we were talking about all of these things. And it's just a pity he never confided in me. Mm -hmm. If he just said to me, say, yo, punch you, you know, some sick. This happened to me. So I could have said, all right, wicked. Yeah. Me may link up on a daily basis. Me can talk about the health. Anything we have to deal with, I'll help you through it. Because mm -hmm. I've always been that type of person. I always try to help people for go through things because I've been through so much shit where I, in a, my mind, mm -hmm. I have to work out everything in a, my mind and then find the strength to get up and go get it done. So I understand when people are go through things in their mm -hmm. mind, I understand that if, you, if they can find that one person that they can turn to, mm -hmm. we can help you lift you up and motivate you and let you know that, listen, it's just a bump in the road, man. You can overcome this. And this is how you overcome this. And you have people here. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to be honest, I'm vexed with wicked. Got you. I'm vexed with wicked because I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. And if they talk to me, who not have to sit down and say, I pray this, this mm -hmm. way, but God know what do, what do, and R.I.P., you know? Mm -hmm. That you they deserve way more respect than him get. Of course, but then we remember when we're talking about the dinosaurs, you're acting like the team wasn't punching freaking wicked out there. You're acting like it was like how they had Face and Mataran. Yeah. They had Wicked and Pancho. Exactly. They had Mark and Squingy. Yeah. They have Johnny and Lynx. It's that's it's part team. of who put put in the work. Yep. Yep. It's the team. But I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Wherever you are, brother. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you'll always be remembered, mm -hmm. even for me, I have to remind them every day. Warrior on the battlefield, you understand? Yeah. To the end, it's to like, that end. seems like he wanted to just always. still be that. Who did you say was older? He was or you were? I was the older one. But he still wanted to be that younger brother that could still show the older brother, say, yo, I got this. Yeah. Regardless of whatever, yeah. I got this 100%. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always a warrior upon the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Yeah. Never flinch. Mm-hmm. Never flinch. Never flinch. Bro. Pancho, this conversation, I knew it was going to be a great conversation, but I never knew it was going to be this freaking great, boss. <laughs> I never knew that. You know what I mean? Because I just said, the YouTube, they've been looking for you, and I've been looking for you too, but I had no clue where you were. And I heard Lady G, keep, keep talking to me. Uh, my brother Pancho, and she bigs you up hard. Yeah. Every interview, every sit down, anything. Has to be a poncho. We were done with the interview, yeah. and she sent me some pictures. You were the last picture that she sent, and yeah. she said, "Listen, out of everything that I sent you, make sure this picture's in there." Yeah, man. You understand? I'm a boss lady, <laughs> man, and she knows say she knows say me always the fear, mm -hmm. man. I'm a sister, that man. Yeah. A long time, I don't know, you know. Yeah, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. When me I look at you, to me used to walk beside her and listen to her lyrics, and she miss a line, and me I tell her, I say, yeah. you skip over the line there. Mm -hmm. I was the one. You understand? Yeah. And when she got vice, when she got vice, no respect her big it. Mm -hmm. Me hear everything about it before it even go in the studio. <laughs> so, I'm yeah. from day one, mm -hmm. and that now got changed. For sure. Nothing can change. Yeah. They want to check you out on social media, just catch up with you, say hi, or whatever the case is. Leave some info, leave some contact. 
All right, social media wise, right now me on the Facebook thing not to work out, but mm-hmm. you can catch me on Instagram, mm-hmm. the real Pancho, the real Pancho, eight seven six. You understand? You'll see the picture. You know the face, and you can just send me a request or a follow and a follow back to yeah. me. You understand? Just to make sure so we keep the communication and the line intact. Mm-hmm. You understand? Other than that, not too too. I'm really. I'm not an anti-social person, you know. I'm mm-hmm. a very social person. But my lifestyle doesn't really allow me a lot of phone time because, as you see, I'm a father first mm-hmm. and then everything else after yeah. play the role after. You understand? So my main focus is really the kids. Just and this is, this is what you told me before because before we even got here, you said, listen, kids first. I got all this schedule. I'll get back to you. Right. And tell you when I can in between what I'm doing with the family. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's my kid first, man. That's how it works, man. I'm growing the next generation. Yeah. My my time is, I'm on God's time right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got See, you. See, that's just the way it is, mm-hmm. bro. You got you. Yeah. Pancho, thank you so much for coming through and doing this today, boss. Yo. You know what I mean? Blessings, man. The gift family. thanks. Thank you. Give thanks. You understand. Me, One love, bro. Trust me. All Let right. me give you an outro and get your cut. This <laughs> crazy. You understand? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.